Kakato and I have the final boss. Why is this? There's the chat now. <laughs> Welcome back to Persona 5 Strikers. I know it's been a while. There has been a lot of circumstances. Um, many of you already know what they are, so I'm not going to go into it. But uh, I have also found out that many people were not really interested in watching this until they were done with the game themselves. So I hope that enough time has passed between my last episode and this one that many of you... Are ready to watch this now. <laughs> so, um, we beat up Alice, well, Shadow Alice, and now we're about to uh, get right into the aftermath of that. So, let's go on ahead and get started, shall we? How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody doing great? Hope so. I'm doing good. I'm doing very good. A certain TV studio filming location. And now for the hottest meet and greet. We are just jumping right into it. No build up, just blam. There she is in all of her melted sherbet cotton candy glory. Alice Hiragi has returned as our special guest. Miss Alice, thank you so much for coming on today, despite the last visit's conclusion. Oh, yeah, where uh, <laughs> veteran newscaster's uh, fiancé pretty much uh, simped for Alice right in front of her. I'm pretty sure she's ready to uh, moita, but let's see what happens. From what I hear, there's something you wish to share? Yes, I need to confess something. The incident that occurred with the previous hosts. Just going right into it. 
that was all my fault. I forced him to proclaim his love for me during a live broadcast. When I heard he was engaged to his co-host, I just wanted to ruin their relationship. Just flat out. All right. Look at it. Look at it, folks. Miss Alice. Yep. It's, don't miss Alice. Look, she tried to ruin your relationship, woman. I'm surprised you're not clawing at her right now. And they're not the only one. Granted, I, well, I've already talked about my stance on Alice in the last episode. Let's just focus. Anytime I see a happy woman, I just get so jealous. I do whatever it takes to ruin their lives. Uh, um. <laughs> She's like, well, um, this is interesting television. Uh, let's continue. <laughs> Destro, thank you so much, dude. Just popping in to say I got five Magnabalo plates and one hot monster hunter, but no gem. I'm going to eat this game. Um, I will hand you the mustard, sir. <laughs> Sorry, but thank you so much, dude. Is this is this a prank or something? Um, no, I'm afraid this is not a prank. This is actually very real. All of my past managers try so hard to stop. Oh, it's not the same woman. Oh, it's not the same newscaster. Okay, never mind. My mistake, my mistake. But then I'd lash out at them too, and and I'd assault them until they back down. The only reason I've changed managers is because my last one had a total breakdown. Wait, are you, is this real? Is this the real life or is this fantasy? Everything I've said here is the truth. I'm sure all of it is easy enough to prove now. I've lied and I've it hurt so many people. <laughs> Zach hit. Oh, okay, cool. Give me a break to commercial. I'm almost certain that's about to happen. <laughs> and I'm just so sorry for it all. Like break to commercial. No. The ratings. The, the Phantom Thieves. You damn right. The butt punchers went and punched butts. I'm the one who did it all. Punched all kinds of bunny butts. There we go! There's the asshole! <laughs> Our ratings are plummeting because of such juicy <laughs> gossip! What? Cut the commercial! <laughs> Lyndon, thank you so much, man. Oh my god. Ah, guys! <laughs> God, move on. Speaking of Destro, where's the button that's basically the Ryuji response the button? <laughs> um, it's coming back. It's I coming back. Don't, don't worry. Ultis, thank you so much, dude. I play the spell card Donation Barrage. The person I hit with this card will be showered with love and donations. Ah, now go for the punch the butts to infinity and beyond. Thank you so much, man. This is a sad moment, you guys. This is gonna blow way up. That news lady even name checked the Phantom Thieves. Ah! Crap! Well, whatever may come, at least our job's done. Thank you so much, guys! Right. We may have gone through something quite different from a palace. There's no mistaking Alice had a change of heart. Yeah, so pretty much the methods are the same. It's just the circumstances are a little different. People with the stolen desires seem to be normal again, too. It's all over the internet. Hey, all the simps have gone back to, uh, well, they're probably still simps in some way. Depending on whom. My son was about to blow our savings on Alice merch, but the Phantom Thieves rescued him. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. Hey! It's nice to finally get some recognition again! I'm just seeing a lot of, I want my money back. Well. Sure can't help him there. <laughs> yeah, uh, too bad, guys. I'm not sure everyone's actually a victim here. Nevertheless, mission complete. Phone daughter! Oh, I missed you. I wonder what'll happen to Alice next. Well, chances are she's probably completely and utterly ruined. She's... I can't imagine she's done anything that's worthy of jail time. But... Her entire industry is pretty much ruined. Her reputation's ruined. She's pretty much got to start over again from scratch. It's probably next to impossible for her to make it in the industry now. 
Her scandal is big news. Ah, well, um... Well, but maybe she can, I don't know. <laughs> That's going to be interesting to put on her resume. Uh, so why'd you stop doing the, uh, the, the whole idol thing? Well, it's because I made the entire population of men and maybe some women simp for me against their will. Uh, we'll call you. No matter why she did it, there are still consequences for her actions. But if Alice really can find that feeling she had when she first discovered fashion, I think she'll be okay. She can still be a ray of light for others, even if she has to find another way to shine. That reminds me. We should still try to press her for info. She might know something that we still don't. But do we actually have a chance of meeting her now? I imagine her day-to-day -day life's become quite the mess. Well, I mean, considering, yeah, not just the mess, but uh, I'm pretty sure that anything that she's been working on right now has been canceled. So uh, it might actually be easier to talk to her, especially with Ahn in the group. Jeez, that's a good point. Her agency isn't going to want anything to do with her. Oh, congratulations, Logan Davis, on your vaccine. An enlightening conversation, as always, in here. Zakichi! The best new character. Uh, well, no, phone daughter. Mm -hmm. They're both good. They're both good. They're both the best. They're both best character. What's up? How's it hanging, folks? <laughs> Aw, you again, Grant? He's not that old! Hey. I won't deny I'm older than you guys, but that still stinks. You know? He's not even that old! But more importantly, you guys really hop to work when your minds are set, don't you? To what are you referring? Oh my god, SMK8, Cop Dad! Yes! He is now forever known as Cop Dad! Don't play stupid. I gave you solid intel, yeah? Yes, but that's... So we now have Detective Dad, Coffee Dad, and now Cop Dad. Because, well, wait. Isn't Saikichi technically Detective 2? Shit, we have two co we have two Detective Dads! Damn it! Well, fine. We got Persona 4 Detective Dad, now we have Persona 5 Detective Dad. Well, that's good news. Looks like I'll be getting my own in return. Your own what? I came here today for your response to my offer. You know, the deal. We already told you we don't work with cops. And what if I tossed in a little bonus? Such as running some questions by Alice for you. Oh, that's very helpful, actually. Hey, let, thanks, Lyndon. The one who yamshas yes, 10 out of 10 best character. You were just saying you wanted info from her, right? That's accurate. But Alice already confessed to messing with people on live TV. Our names have been cleared. <laughs> Button the secret boss, excuse me, what about Gun Dad? I'm sorry about Gun Dad. I, f <laughs> I temporarily forgot about Gun Dad. Okay, so fine. We have, de we have Detective Dad, we have Coffee Dad, we have Gun Dad, and now we have Detective Dad 2.0, Cop Dad, Inspector Dad, Nicholas Snyder, thank you so much for also reminding me. Ah, so many people are telling me I forgot about Gun Dad. I am so sorry about it. Why? Look, look. I can explain. I won't, but I can explain. Yeah, what she said. We don't need you for shit. If only that were true. What do you mean by that? How is this case not closed? Oh, it is far from closed. This change of heart epidemic is happening all over the country. And we know they can't all be Alice's victims. Therefore, you still have plenty to get pinned on you, don't you? Ah, crap! Not only that, you already know how badly you've stirred the pot. That little calling card stunt's fired up the public more than ever. Good job, Futaba! <laughs> These change of heart cases have to be the Phantom Thieves. It's the only thing I hear down at the station now. 
Do you really not realize how dangerous a position you're in right now? And everybody, well, at least the police force knows me, my character, Joker, as the leader of the Phantom Thieves. He's going to be watched like a damn hawk all the time. What bullshit? What the hell did we do? Calm down. Why do you think I offered you that deal? If I wanted to, I could cuff you and take you in right now. But you already know that we're not responsible for the other bullshit. The reason I'm not is because I believe you are not the culprit. Thank you! I rest my case! Game over! G game, game continue. To catch the true perpetrator, I need your help. Ah. Uh, what makes you think that? Uh, detective's intuition? Maybe? I mean, I'm pubsec, but that's close enough. <laughs> The M.O. in this recent epidemic doesn't mesh with the Phantom Thieves' ideology. The motives also appear very different. These are two separate cases. At least, that's what I believe. <sighs> May we have a moment to ourselves? We'd like to discuss it first. Sure, I'll be right outside. Just holler when you're ready for me. So, uh... This is unexpected. I assumed Alice's confession would clear our names. Nope, just made things worse. Damn it. So they really weren't just trolling. What is it? When I was searching the web, I noticed some people saying weird stuff was happening here and there. Similar to what we've seen so far. Almost none of them made the news, and it seems like everyone's just trying to ignore it. I think she's referring to the other incidents that are similar to Change of Hearts. Gramps is sane, it's probably not bullshit after all. What should we do? If they decide to scapegoat us, we'll never be able to clear our names. They're not even changing hearts for the same reasons as us. If there really are other brainwashing incidents out there, that would mean there are more jails. Do you think there could be more monarchs out there too? Sounds like we need to forget all this and go on a field trip. And what would we do? Considering what we've gathered, going along with that man could be a viable option. Yeah, but... Field trip! Are we seriously gonna trust that dude? Gars! What other choice do we have? At the very least, his intel about Alice was useful. What do you say? Oh, let's make the deal. I can't trust him. Not much of a choice here. Ah, he seems like an alright guy. Let's make the deal. I think that'd be wisest. Now wait, even if we do level with him, how would we explain it? If he's going to understand what we've been doing, he'll have to learn about the metaverse. Do you think he'll even believe us? Probably not. I mean, remember when we tried to talk to uh, Uncle Dojima about how we go into the TV world? Thought we were goddamn nuts! <laughs> we have no choice but to make him believe. Otherwise, it's our leader on the line. Now, making him believe is something that we should have done a Persona 4, you know? Bring me a fucking TV, I'll put my hand in! But no, my character was too dumb to try that. But, but, the metaverse, the jail, how do you think we're gonna get some thick-headed cop to buy that? Well, uh, can't we, like, drag him along with us somehow? <laughs> JG Gerard, thank you so much, dude. Correction, road trip! Yep, road trip, vacation time. It seems our only choice is to take him to the jail. Exactly, we gotta actually take him with us. Oh my god. Wait, are we gonna do that now? Let's do it now! I wanna see the reaction! Wait, really? Mako-chan. Can you think of any other way for him to avoid getting arrested? We have one playable card in our hand. We just have to go along with it for the time being. <laughs> Wait, just like a Brandon, look, I'm sorry I didn't fight Margaret, okay? Look, I intend to play the game again using the PC mods because that would be fun. Maybe I'll fight Margaret then. Jeez. It'll be dangerous in the jail, but we should be able to protect one man. There doesn't seem to be another option. It may be in our best interest to accept the deal. All right, we'll do it. 
It's not like we have any alternative. Let's hope it's not our undoing. Ah, shit. We gotta stay prepared for the worst case. I'll call him back in. Come on back. We're ready for you. Hey, Zen Kichi, you wanna go to jail? <laughs> huh, that was quicker than I expected. So, what say you all? That literally took me like five minutes to get through. <laughs> There's a place we need to show you. Follow us. <laughs> We're taking you to the jail, son. Oh my god, we're actually doing it! We're actually doing it! I see. A jail full of shadows. Wait! No, they wouldn't have skipped over that. With a monarch seizing desires, was it? All right. What say we go get you tested for drugs now? <laughs> Okay, never mind. He hasn't seen it. And he gave the appropriate response. <laughs> if you're going to cook up some fantasy to sell me, maybe try a little less spice next time. How oh, we like it spicy in this team. Just save it for now. We're about to take you into the cognitive world. Cognitive world? Follow us. Huh? Where to exactly? We just told you to a land of fantasy and make-believe. Now take these pills, cross your eyes, stick your thumb up your nose, and start laughing. Yes. Yes. So are you gonna answer me or you you can open your eyes now? <laughs> what? What? What is Um Welcome to the cognitive world This isn't real. Want me to slap you really hard in the face so you can see that it's real? Everything here. Is real. Every last bit you can see. <laughs> Everything the light touches is real. Whoa. What happened? What are those outfits for? It's for... It's technically to disguise ourselves, but really it's, it's just for the funsies. It really is just for the funsies. Yep, just about what I expected. Why is my leg bleeding? Why do I keep making my leg bleed when I'm streaming? Why do I keep scratching myself in some spot that is like a cut or something that I got from work that I just open up the goddamn wound again? Ah! Anyway, moving on. This is our Phantom Thief attire. <laughs> what even is this? Where am I? <laughs> Appropriate response. Questions. This is a jail. You are currently located within a jail. Phone daughter! And she's right up in his face. Wait, who are you? That's phone daughter! I adopted her. She's mine. Back off. I am Sophie, humanity's companion. Nice to meet you. This is just the cutest little bundle of joy, and I just want to hug her and then pat her head and say she's a good girl. Oh, nice to. What? <laughs> Chill out, Zenkichi. You gotta keep yourself together. Okay, look. Um, here's the problem, Morgana. He's already trying to process what he's seeing. Then he talks to my phone. Now he's gonna realize that there's a talking cat. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I can't be losing my shit, like. Monster cat. <laughs> <laughs> well. And there it is. Feel me! You finally believe we've been telling you the truth? The hell? How much did I drink last night? This just has to be a dream. I'm still passed out. Somebody slap him. Don't pinch him, that would just be kinky. Just slap him! You holding up there, Gramps? <laughs> and again, I don't know, maybe he likes being slapped too. I'm not one to judge. No need to worry. 
He's merely having a meltdown. Uh, that still sounds rather worse. <laughs> Don't worry! He's just freaking the fuck out! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we blew his mind. Oh, brother. I suppose we may as well head back now. <laughs> this is comedy gold! <laughs> Zenkichi.exe has stopped responding. <laughs> oh, this... What's happened to me? <laughs> you took the drugs there, Zenkichi! You took the, took the pills! Nas! Thank you so much, dude! I am the storm that is approaching, provoking black clouds and isolation. Every claimer of my name born in the flames has been blessed. My family crest. What? What? What is going on? Linden, thank you so much, dude. Phone daughter, the best floof character and on par with Haru. Plus, I rescind my offer to be her dad. I want to be her uncle that pets her, kiss her, hug her, and call her Georgina. <laughs> oh, you're making... Oh, uh, the uh, the abominable slow man. I get, I get the joke. I understood that reference. <laughs> She's so precious. She is. Yes, she is. She's adorable. I, I like my phone. I like my phone, daddy. She's cool. She's cool. Self crazy trying to crack this case. <laughs> Pull yourself fucking together, Zenkichi. <laughs> it's pretty fun watching him lose it. <laughs> mm, his brain probably overloaded and he can't catch up. Oh, why'd we even bother explaining it all beforehand? Well, he might have a better. Well, uh, no. I would think actually explaining it beforehand would have made things better rather than him actually just being thrusted into it without any idea of what was about to happen. We all reacted similarly during our first time. Ah, oh, such innocence. I don't recall any single one of you acting like a goddamn lunatic the way that Zenkichi is. Get a hold of yourself, Gramps. Yeah, listen to my phone, Gramps. Sheesh. How long do you need to get it together? Oh, that's right! Since he's now been in that world, he should be able to hear more- Oh, wait, no. Is it that he needs to be in that world, or that he needs to have a persona? Huh? Oh, right. Right. Get it together. There we go. That answers the question. Yeah, I forgot about that part. Just needs to have been in that world. So, uh, yep, yeah, you can hear the cat now. This cat said my name! <laughs> Run! More god a monster got her! Not a monster or a cat! I told you I am Morgana! A butt off your dick! Since you're cognizant of Morgana speaking in the metaverse, you can understand him here now too. Cats can talk if I'm cognizant of it? <laughs> That's really something. <laughs> I imagine him laughing when his eyes are gone wall-eyed. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I can understand things now. <laughs> DM242, thank you so much, dude. Zakichi.exe is shut down. Punch any butt to continue. <laughs> I think he's going to need a little more time to process all of this. So, uh, Zakichi, you want to sit down? Uh, take a moment. Want a soda? Get your soda. First off. Sorry for losing my cool like that. We don't care. That was fucking hilarious. Soul, thank you so much, dude. I think I get what's going on, though. Actually, none of it makes any sense to me. <laughs> but I'm going to strive to understand. If we're going to make a deal, then that will make us conspirators. Conspirators have to vow never to betray one another's trust. So, you already know how all this works. All right, all right. Your trust is repaid with mine. Oh, nice. Help me figure out this nationwide change of heart business, and I'll make sure you're all protected. As long as you cooperate, I won't allow the police to lay a finger on you. Awesome! Thank you so much, Zenkichi! That's my vow. Kichi, baby. That's the deal. If you screw us on this... Get along with the talking cat. Yes, this is the only answer. Oh, man. So he's really real, huh? <laughs> yep, really, really real. Go ahead. 
ahead. Start talking to him in front of this big crowd behind us. <laughs> in that case, I'm going to cut right down to it and ask for your help with a similar incident. PubSec has their eyes on Sapporo right now because of all the change of heart cases there. I need you in Sapporo Central City by August 8th. Road trip! Why does it need to be the 8th? Our suspect's out of the country on a business trip until then. We're kicking off the investigation within the hour of their arrival back home. I see. Very well. So it's likely this suspect in Sapporo is another monarch, like Alice. That could be. If so, then I'd have to ask you guys to handle it. So, we're heading to Sapporo Central in Hokkaido, huh? This will be quite the little trip for us. Yee! A uh, word of caution? Yes. You'll definitely want to avoid any sort of public transportation. Why is that? You're going to want to either drive or hoof it. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? You revived the Phantom Thieves to deal with Alice. Any potential monarch will have heard about it. The way they see it, you're a real problem. Especially if you go after their own desires. They're definitely all on high alert now. They may even try to get rid of us. There's no way to know who's brainwashed until after they act. What if one of them was the pilot of your plane? Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, yep! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. That's a good point. Ultra Wing Gaming, thank you so much, dude. Cop Dad EXE has crashed. Send a report to Atlas. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> But if we can't fly, how do we get to Sapporo? Find a car you can use. That'd be safest. You're not gonna set us up with one? Sorry, but I've got to keep this investigation top secret. Any aid would just leave a trail back to this deal of ours. Oh, and one more thing. Don't worry about the Alice thing. I'll fill you in once I'm done grilling her. Well, here's to a solved case. Same here, Zenkichi. <laughs> <sighs> right. Sorry I called you a monster cat, kitty. I call a kitty. Oh, you'll be sorry. <laughs> Crazy. This is real, Zakichi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm loving this. But up, 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 I'm loving this. Yes, Bon Makoto does dress. Oh, so hot. Talk about an effing buzzkill. I'm still trying to find you that a short sleeve cropped leather jacket of hers. I cannot, I don't really, I do not understand why it's so goddamn hard to find a cropped short sleeve leather jacket. If anybody knows where I can get something like that, that looks like Makoto's, please email me because I've been trying to find one for Bun for the longest time. Bun might be more like Futaba and Haru, but she definitely dresses more like Makoto. GG Gerard, thank you so much, dude. To prevent the train instant, like, at the beginning of the Persona 5. Yeah! Although, in this game, Pancake Boy isn't around to cause psychotic breakdowns. But we still have to worry about the Monarchs catching wind of what we're doing and doing things themselves. So, yeah. Amazon? No, I've checked Amazon. I've, I've checked Amazon. I mean, Hokkaido? Really? There goes our vacation down the drain. But we can have fun in Hokkaido! Ain't this stuff happening all over Japan anyways? Even if we do solve this one, we're just gonna get sent off to some other city. Actually, Bun makes a point. That might not be leather. I'm assuming it's leather, though. Brayden Patterson, thank you so much, dude. Well, my father got his PS5 set up. Bad news is, he set up in my... Oh. So your dad's gonna be playing PS5 in your room? I think of it as father-son time. Play two-player games. A traveling venture in cooperation with public security. I admit it doesn't sound all bad. We should stop by Kyoto as well. Find that silver lining, Inari. Etsy? I've looked on Etsy, but I didn't really find anything. But I'll double check. This trip isn't for our enjoyment. The case will still be our primary objective. But it's still summer vacation. Can't we have just a little fun? Yeah, the 8th is way off from now. We can still do all kinds of shit before then. 
Oh, I'd like to experience some regional cuisines. Yep, Bun, Bun is absolutely right. We love the way she dresses, but we just think she's too much of a wet blanket. The responsible one. It's like, come on, have a little fun. That's why we like Haru Futaba. Yeah, yeah, sushi for me. Sushi! I actually had sushi yesterday. Let's focus on the case. Phantom trip! Phantom road trip time! Oh dear. We can cut loose after the case is closed. Will you stop being a buzzkill, Makoto? That being said, we should go over some things before we move on to the trip. First up is Emma. It seems like an ordinary app at first, but now we know that it has a hidden function that can access jails. Hmm, it's like the meta nav, that's dangerous. What's up? What's up? Dude, not funny. It's the one acting like the meta nav, remember? I forgot, I haven't been here in a few months. To think something like that is being used nationwide, it sends a chill down my spine. The app itself is fine though, right? I mean, you can just delete it if you want. Plus, all the keyword and friend list functions work fine. If the app just let everybody slip into jails, wouldn't the whole country basically be pure chaos already? You're telling me it's already not? We've all registered as friends on it, but that didn't do anything strange in and of itself. Where did this app come from, anyway? It's run by a Japanese company called Medis. They're an international IT firm. We're talking tens of thousands of employees. That's quite the large-scale operation. With those numbers, we have to be a top-tier international enterprise. So is this some evil mega corporation making jails or something? <laughs> Led by a big mustache twirling bastard sitting in a big old chair, stroking his cat. But we can't use Emma the same way Alice did. Well, maybe that's because we all got pure hearts or something. There's nothing pure about your heart, Ryuji. JG Gerard, thank you so much, dude. Honestly, I see Makoto's point not being much like a buzzkill, just cautious and making a logical point that she's being a buzzkill. Ultra Wing Gaming, thanks so much, dude. Makoto, okay, job first, everyone. Road trip! Guys, please. <laughs> Moron. There's a possibility that Alice had a special version of Emma. What makes you say that? Uh, just an idea. I'm grasping at straws over here. But it is a possibility. If I got a hold of Alice's phone somehow, I should be able to see if her version of Emma is anything special. This is true. If there's anything about the app, it would have version types on it because of, you know, updates and like. So if she was given anything unique, then it would be pretty obvious to see. Really? I should ask Inspector Hasegawa if he could confiscate it for us. I'll reach out to him later over it. All right, next topic, the jail. Each palace collapsed after the treasure inside was stolen. But the jail is still in Shibuya. Not only that, but the palaces are the manifestations of their ruler's cognitions. But that's not true at all in jails. Humans can have their desires seized from their shadows there. And that would cause terrible things to occur to them in the real world. When you put it all together like that, don't it sound even worse than the palaces? If these other bizarre incidents across Japan are genuine changes of heart, that means there are probably more jails out there. Mmm, that means more punch of things! There could be quite a few of them, considering how impossible it is to report on every incident. More fun beating up a bunch of stuff and more fun bosses. Mm -mm -mm. Damn it, Resident Evil 8 just came out too, and I had a lot of fun playing and recording that for my channel, but... Oh god, I keep forgetting how fun this game is. <laughs> well... Looks like I'm gonna have to start my transition to full-time a little earlier than expected because I really want to do a lot of both. Oh, bye-bye, social life. Bye-bye! <laughs> so, we're working with the police to try and clear our names, but... Ultis, thank you so much, dude. And the evil mega corporation mastermind name is General Pancakes, destroyer of all things waffles and French toast. Oh my god. Is that really enough? Ooh, French toast. I haven't had French toast in a while. Mmm, French toast. How do you mean? Damn it, now I'm in the mood for French toast! Damn it, Altice! If the jails are as dangerous as we've seen, 
then wouldn't it be bad to just leave them alone? If stuff as awful as what happened in Shibuya is happening all over, aren't we the only ones who can stop it? That's right. You're absolutely right. Yes, we are right. Good job, Yusuke. Yes, it's our job to save people suffering helplessly. But thank you, Bun. Look, I just want Makoto to be like she was in the beginning of Persona 5. Still being responsible, but learning how to open herself to fun ideas that she's not used to. She began her confidant that way, too. Yes, exactly! But she regressed back and never really changed. She just accepted herself as the responsible one. Study, study, study! Ah! Thank you, Bun. And very, very good point. And give people courage! Courage! There's my Phantom Thieves. It's what we, it's what only we could do. Was that how it worked? <laughs> Dude, how could you forget? That's the Phantom Thieves whole thing. I'm sorry, I wasn't really paying attention to what you guys were talking about. I was looking at my chat. Great speech, Lady On. You've got us all fired up. Sit down, Morgana. Stop sipping. If that's the plan. Maybe traveling by car will actually work to our advantage. Right. We might find some more jails on the way to Sapporo. JG Gerard, thank you so much, dude. Curious to know, did you ever hear of those Persona 5 Awakening videos on YouTube where people made up their own? Yes, I did. I kind of missed the boat on that one, so I just didn't take part in it. That works for me. A little bit of a jailbreak spree along the way. But how do we actually find the other jails? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Yes? Mm, yes! Let's just guess. Let's just run around like, are you a mother? Are you a mean person? You have a jail. Uh, it'll only take us about a million years. Hey, at least we got a time frame. I believe it may be time for the Sophia show. Oh my god. Why is she so damn cute? Ooh, check the super AI. I can detect any jails in the vicinity by scent. By scent? What the fuck? Are you a puppy now? Maybe that's why you're so damn cute. For real? Take a shot! By scent? By scent. <laughs> Alright, everybody, let's just take my phone and shove it up people's butts and let's see if Sophia can see if anybody's got a jail! A jail emits a distinct signature. When I enter a jail's range, I can sense it. Alright! So, um, is there a sniffing app I need to install, or are you good? <laughs> the patient one. Thank you so much, dude. Trust me, Kagano, Makoto gets better after spoiler, spoiler, and spoiler, and spoiler. She's spoiler as spoiler, so look forward to that. Oh, boy! Thanks. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Sophia, that is nuts! She's gonna be sniffing some nuts. Praise accepted. <laughs> oh, my God! There is still much we do not understand. But at least we now have a course of action. <laughs> I'm sorry, Yusuke. I did not even listen to what you said. I'm still melting to the adorableness of my phone daughter. Yeah. This is gonna be... A trip to reform all society. A job for the fan of these. A great time with you guys. You're right. We deserve to enjoy ourselves along the way. Fucking yeah, Haru! That's what I'm talking about right there. That's my that's my Persona 5 woman for you. All that's left is to secure our transportation. If this is going to fit all of us, won't it have to be pretty big? Oh my. We'll just have to rent something. Oh, who knows what it'll cost us. Money is no object to us. <laughs> Prize funds for my most recent contest entry have finally come. Yusuke. Dude. You are literally poor and eating nothing. You're eating crumbs off the ground for sustenance. Save your money. Live. I'm begging you, Yusuke, to live. Oh, Sol, thank you so much, dude. Have you seen the Sonic movie, Kagano? Yes, I have. It was very fun. I actually saw it in the theater in Canada with my girlfriend. It was great fun. Yay. 
Oh, keep your snack money to yourself. <laughs> exactly, Futaba. Well, we cut a deal with someone in the police. Maybe they'll help pay for our investigation. <sighs> nah, no way. Some pretty big transportation. Hmm. I'm getting this feeling that Sojiro mentioned something along those lines once. Mmm, JG Gerard asks, who would be your persona be? Just curious. I really don't know. Although, if I had to choose anyone right now, I'm leaning towards Thor. So because Thor's fucking fun. <laughs> He's a good persona too, and god damn it, lightning. I'm a fan of lightning. Let's go ask him. But I really don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I'm choosing a persona, whereas a persona is your true self. So I don't know what my true self would actually be. So I guess it wouldn't make sense for me to choose a persona as much as it would be others to choose it for me based off of how they know me, you know? Were you talking to someone about big transportation or something the other day? The coffee mobile! Please let us have a coffee mobile! Oh, you mean the guy I know with the camper? Yes. Yeah, he was whining about never having the time to use it. How it's just collecting dust. Sojiro, that's it! Yes! Please go borrow that camper for us, please! We demand the coffee mobile! Hmm. Does this have anything to do with what you guys are getting blamed for? Yeah, no, yes, maybe? Yes? <laughs> Okay, Makoto has her moments. <laughs> Makoto has her moments. Then I guess I don't have a choice. <laughs> I'll give him a call. Sit tight till tomorrow. Um, honesty prevails. Yeah, now there's our chief. So consider it. The patient one says no, Kagano. It's the Phantom Mobile. No, it's the Coffee Mobile. But listen up. No getting too wild out there, all right? Oh, we promise. <laughs> Oh, we promise not to get oh too wild out there. <laughs> yeah. And are you all set with travel funds and whatnot? Uh, I beat up the uh, we beat up the Takashi's enough last time. I've still got some money left over from that. Yes, we've all been saving up for summer vacation. Not Takashi, I'm sorry, Takase. Takase. Was it? yeah, it was Takase's, right? Yeah, Takase's. The assholes that were blackmailing. Not really black. <laughs> I can't think of the word of what they were doing. They were being assholes to Kawakami. That's what they were doing. Once art drove me to rags, but now it has propelled me to riches. Yusuke, your your artiste side is getting a little out of hand now that you're getting so excited. But then again, we are getting on the coffee mobile, so hell yeah! Ultra Week Gaming says coffee dad still great dad. Damn right. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, we gotcha. Look, let the artsy fartsy artsy fart, okay? We're all going on a trip. In a coffee mobile. It's gonna be great. A camper? Yeah, damn fucking right, Zekichi! It's the coffee mobile! This is turning into some kind of a coming of age. Flight. Extortion! That's the word. Thank you so much. I am a dumb. Thank you. Extortion. That's the word. Wait. Are you guys and girls actually going to sleep in that thing together? Yeah. What's your point? No worries. The boys are all sleeping on the roof. Hey! Can at least Haru come? And we've got Makoto and her fist of justice with us if someone tries anything funny. Really? Oh, and I'm very handy with an axe. I'm more afraid of that! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Please go easy, honestly. <laughs> These sisters are really doing it for themselves. Fine, whatever you gotta do. Ah! So, about what I asked for. Ah, right. Alice's phone. Here you go. Yay, thank you. Scores and Kichi. Hey, that's important evidence. No breaking it. Got that? 
So, how was Alice, anyway? <laughs> Andrew Storm's Haru is more dangerous than me. Yeah, Makoto will chase you down and just bludgeon you to death. Haru's the one slowly walking towards you, dragging the axe behind her, looking like a psychotic axe murderer. I'm more afraid of Haru than Makoto! She was pretty upfront about the whole heart-changing situation. When people registered her as a friend on Emma, she noticed they'd suddenly grow obedient to her. At first, she was just curious what was going on. But she says she got such a thrill from making people do her bidding, she couldn't stop herself. Uh, that's, uh, that's when the uh, closet dominatrix comes out. It began with the friend registration. Was there anything else? The only other thing she did was apologize. That's all we got. But it does seem like she was telling me the truth. So she didn't actually know anything about the jails or desires. Well, I have to say, I wouldn't have bought one bit of it if you hadn't shown me what you did. Hmm? What in the hell? Let me guess, different version. What is it? Did you find something? I thought I'd find some unique aspect to Alice's version of Emma. Oh. But nope. So that's the problem? Is that there is no problem? Oh, that's a problem. What did I just say? I think my brain just melted at what I just said. <laughs> Eric Hackney, thank you so much, dude. Surprise attack. Hey, Kagano, sorry for being late. Was busy trying to fix my persistent PS2. Slim, haven't solved anything yet, sadly. Sorry to hear that, dude, but thank you so much. But, uh, um, uh, yeah, I would say that it's kind of hard to repair a PS2 in this day and age. Uh, parts are kind of hard to come by, but good luck with that, dude. This is just the standard commercial version. It hasn't even been tampered with. So we got nothing out of this? I didn't say that. I did find traces of some snooping in her phone. Maybe that was Zenkichi's doing. I don't know. What do you mean? Someone was monitoring Alice's activity. Either her smartphone usage in general, or her Emma usage specifically. So, like... Someone's keeping tabs on her. She has a stalker. Was it Palm Sack? Just immediately looks at Sakechi. Watch out! Oh, we wish. I'm gonna teach them all about this stuff for future cases. The Light Bane. Thank you so much, dude. I like that about Haru. Keeps me honest. Yeah, no kidding. This Haru is not loved by enough people. Everyone's like usually going after the other three. That now nah, Haru, Haru all day long. And well, no, Fotaba too. I, I keep saying that because of Bun. Because Futaba and Bun are one and the same. If it wasn't public security, does that mean there's still someone out there involved with this ah. incident? Do you see anything revealing the Monitor's origins? Somewhere within the country. That's all I get from this. Getting even that's quite the feat. You're real good, kid. <laughs> Never underestimate the techie of the Phantom Thieves. So someone was tracking Alice. Who could it be? Mm. The art so so Haru. Kawaii in the streets, Sumarashi in the street in the sheets. <laughs> uh, one thing at a time. This isn't our only case to work. We'll sure find more leads as we investigate the incidents. Uh Skylert, I gotta say, a lot of sources I see really put Haru low on the totem pole. At least down the main girls. JG Gerard, thank you so much, dude. Could you imagine Haru's Halloween costume being Jason Voorhees? Yes, I do. I actually do. Like, the picture, uh, like, I've seen, I'm sure you guys have seen those um, PVC statues of the uh, uh, anime girl versions of the classic killers. I have seen one of Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees. And I know that Haru would pull off Jason very well. Well, I'll see you August 8th at Sapporo Central. Don't be late, got it? I'll reach out to you that day with the meetup location. Time to return this phone to its rightful owner. So Alice could put people in her jail because she was a monarch. Is that about right? Kinda, yeah. Since it didn't seem to be her version of Emma's doing, that seems correct. I get where you're coming from, but we still shouldn't jump to conclusions. Like Zenkichi said, there's still plenty to look into. 
It's, yeah, because it doesn't really make any sense because she doesn't realize that she's the monarch. And it's because of the Emma Friendless thing that this all happened. So, despite it being a different, or not this, not a different version of the Emma app, there's still something to do with that Emma app. So, somebody probably is specifically tampering in some way. That's true. We don't know enough about what's happening. We should gather more intel. Yes, Peter Riley, you're right. The Basojo figures. Hey, you guys still together? Um, yes, we are. We're 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 very happily together. Then come on outside. Check out your wheels. Yes, the comic book wheels here. Bob, thank you so much. I'm definitely Futaba, but you gotta admit, I'm leaning more Haru too. I'm just a mix of the two. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you're Haru Taba. <laughs> You are definitely Harutaba. Alpha Dragon, thanks so much, dude. Yo. Uh, hey, Kagano, sorry to join the stream late. I was visiting a family member. It's okay, man. You can always go back and watch the beginning later. Thank you very much for joining. Well, here's your wheels. What? This is the camper? It's the coffee mobile. Whoa. It's like three times more badass than I expected. Well, um, it is the coffee mobile. Of course it's badass. It could have been a Volkswagen Beetle. It would have been badass, because it's the coffee mobile. Beautiful. This retro design, so simple, yet so elegant. Thanks. Thanks, Sojiro. It's awesome. It looks old. We'll do our best not to crash it. <laughs> hey, don't go jinxing yourselves. I found the make and model online. This is a Vulcan Retro Life. It has four beds and a rooftop tent. There are enough power outlets for everyone, as well as a cooking appliances for any culinary needs. Ah! <laughs> oh, daughter in the... Getting right into it already. Oh, God, I forgot how much this game is just so fun. Ah, uh, what have I been doing wasting my time not playing this game? Y'all need to start slapping me more in my Discord saying, Hey, what's the next Persona episode? I know I complained about it before, but this game's a little different. And you know what? I'm having fun with it too. So God damn it! Help! Help me! Help me! We couldn't have asked for anything better. That's our chief for you. Wow, I love the interior, too. Yes, it reminds me of American diners in the 1950s. Hmm. That's classy. I like that. I hope I can actually drive something this big. Oh, my? It's got its little quirks, but I'm sure you'll get used to them quick enough. Until then, though, make sure you drive carefully, okay? Uh... Well, I guess I can't really park this here, can I? I'll go move this thing to the nearest lot. You go finish your packing. That's true. All right, let's disband for now and regroup once we're ready to roll out. You know, I just thought of something. Since Sojiro's so deep into this, why haven't they just temporarily brought Sojiro into the cognitive world so that he could understand Morgana? If anything else, just for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, good job getting packed up for the trip. Anything else you think that we'll need? If so, we better go buy it now. Once we're all set, we should go say our goodbyes to the chief before heading out. Uh-oh. Yo, dude! There's somewhere I want to go before we head out. You should check it out, too. I'll wait for you outside, so just let me know when you're ready. All right. It's not like we have social links in this game, so I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. So let's just go and uh, see what he has to say. Uh, sorry, Sojiro. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. Yeah. So you know. Yes. I have a feeling life is going to be getting a lot rougher for Alice in a bunch of ways. But I know there are people out there who have looked up to her. 
well before she started all this lost her way. Those people are going to be so pumped when she makes her comeback. That's why I hope she doesn't give up on her dreams. You're so kind. Sounds pretty tough. You keep it. I, I, that's a, such a generic answer. Well, they're all kind of generic, but you know what? You're just nice, on. I mean, I told her how I really feel about her, so I definitely have to cheer her on. The patient one. Thank you so much, dude. Kagado, friendly suggestion. Not necessary for the plot, but you'll appreciate something a lot more if you do it. Keep track of the trip's geography. Oh, okay. Um, I'll try. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to get all sappy right before we leave and everything. Guys, guys, in the chat, calm down about the, the about the Discord thing. Uh, let's, uh, uh, let's not, uh, huh. you know what? I'm going to leave it to my moderators to handle that situation. I'm going to keep on playing. Ta-da! I brought a whole bunch of games! Let's play some when we have time for it! Yeah! Wait, what kind of games? Are we talking about board games? Video games? Futaba would bring the video games. So, Odd's probably talking about board games. So, uh, wait, a whole bunch. I'm support game lover. Hey! Hey, Bun, there's your China on. She's a board game lover! Alright, Ryuji. Ryuji. Hey, been waiting for you. Up to grab some Robin right now? Okay. It'll be you know where. Let's celebrate for getting the band back together and setting off on this big trip. All right, let's go. We did it. What are you waiting for then? You're going to go right now? I think you're a little obsessed. Is that a problem? Hey, if you're not doing anything, you should come with. Uh, I don't know if I want all the... On! You literally are a disposal unit. You eat anything and it does not appear on your body. And if it does, it's your breasts. Well, I guess I'll come along since Kagano is here. All right, the Shinji Trio's off. <laughs> Bun says, thank you, Bun. But Bun says, my tie to on is that you think I'm hot. I don't think I know because you are hot. Damn, this shit's the bomb. Who's That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, dude! No Robin, no, 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 no life. Your treat, right? I <laughs> used to be happy. Brings me back. Let's be a dick. Your treat, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Free ramen. Uh, uh, yeah, this one's on me for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you really love ramen that much? Well, it is good, though. You're damn right. Right? I could eat this forever! Man, eating this reminds me of the original Fan of Thieves back when it was just us three. Hey. Uh, you mean us four. I was there too, you know! I remember you ate too much and ended up feeling like crap. God damn it. You were the same way. Hey, Ryuji, you remember all those times you screamed out as loud as possible how we were the Phantom Thieves? I remember that. Hey. Ah! Sophia wants the ramen! Hey, show me the ramen. Okay. Whoa. Oh, so this is what ramen is. <laughs> Looks good, right? Too bad you can't try it. <laughs> That's what you think. I just plugged my phone right into the broth. <laughs> they got extra large ones, too. You won't believe how much stuff they put in it. I want to see. Oh. Huh? I want to see some extra large ramen. Oh, boy. Well, Ryuji, you heard her. Get the extra large. <laughs> Show her Ryuji. For real? Take a shot. No way, I just had a bowl. So that's the story. <laughs> you said you could eat it forever. Do it for Sophia. <laughs> 
Do it for his daughter, Uncle Ryuji! Uh, way to put me on the spot. Awesome! Fine! Challenge accepted! But I'm taking you guys with me. Hey, boss! We'll take three extra large balls over here! Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Seriously? Oh no! Oh my god! Um. Oh my god. They, oh no. They ate the whole thing. Wow, I think Odd's boobs did get bigger from that. <laughs> Holy shit, they all ate it for Sophia! <laughs> and my stomach feels like it's about to burst. Are you guys done with your shenanigans? <laughs> that was nothing you see. I'm down for one more! <laughs> Crazy! Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. I learned a lot from that. No. <laughs> That's good to hear. <laughs> I need to lie down. You think they have any hammocks here? <laughs> you enjoyed Robin to the full extent with Honor Yuji. Oh, fun times! That was like a social link with two people! I fucking love it! Oh my god, this game is- I'm just- I forgot how fun this game is! Ugh, I definitely gained weight after that. Oh, man. Easy on the road or else it's all coming back up. Oh, yes! Let's- all right, well, if that happened between those two, let's see if there's anything going on here. Let's start with Yusuke and Futaba. Very well. Isn't this supposed to be a long excursion, though? I'd better stock up as best I can. Yeah, you're gonna need all the food. Seriously, you've got all that money. Buy food. You need food. Eat, damn it, Yusuke! Oh, that's it. Chris the Crazy, thank you so much, dude. Ryuji does realize he said he's paying, right? I know. <laughs> Listen, Inari, you only get 500 yen for snacks for now, okay? Futaba, why are you limiting this man's need for food? Look at him! He will blow away with the wind! Impossible. <laughs> but rock salt's not a snack, yes? Why? Why? What? Why are you just buying rock salt? Why are you just buying rock salt? So you know. Are you- are you a deer? You're not a deer! You don't need salt to lick, sir! Oh god. Makado. Driving something as big as an RV is a first for me. I admit, I'm at least a bit nervous. But I'm still looking forward to it. I've wanted to go on a long trip for a long time now. I don't think it's going to be harder than driving uh, Morgana around. Although Morgana kind of drove himself. Although going from a motorcycle to a big RV like that is going to be uh, yeah, a bit different. Don't worry. I won't gun it like with Johanna. Oh, come on! Haru would gun it. No, not you! Hey. We may have to focus our efforts on the case, but I'm still excited for our trip. I'm extra glad I asked for some time off at the company now that this has all come together. <laughs> I hope we all have a great time. So you know. Meanwhile, she's just sitting there sharpening her axe. Arabi Ragnarok! Thank you so much, dude! Oh, man. Uh, is there anything else to do? I don't think so. I think we're on our way. JG Gerard, thank you so much, dude. Have you ever played Telltale's The Walking Dead game? No, I have not. Hey. I've had passing interest with it. I'm about to roll out Autobots. Yep, see you later. <laughs> All right. Well, here, take this with you. I hope it does you some good on the trip. 
Make sure you make enough for everyone. <gasps> Pork, onion, rice. Well, time for me to pick you up your ride. I'll be right back. You give everyone a call and have me meet you here. Hmm. Got you sure your kid's gonna be okay on your own? We'll be fine. I mean, probably. Take care, boss. Uh, same to you. Be careful out there. Thanks. Bye. He's a fun guy. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I, I, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. You're fine. I'm fine. Everybody's fine. I'm a pile of justice. And I'm fine. Oh, Commissioner Kaburaki. My apologies. I've been short on sleep. I've not been on an undercover case in quite some time. Ultra Wing Gaming, thank you so much, dude. And now, the mute, jock, cat, model, artist, cop, and training hacker, axe-wielding killer, and phone daughter set off into the world. Oh my god. <laughs> I wholly understand. Have you liaised with the Phantom Thieves? A Robbie Ragnarok, how's it feel to make 155 I don't, I don't fucking know! You guys are too fucking nice to me! That's what's going on! I know it's a conspiracy! It's all a conspiracy! You're all against me! You're all against me! Ah! Affirmative. I've gained their cooperation. However, the proceedings are touch and go. Some of them are also very quick on the uptake. Martin Connor actually asked a very good question. Hey, Kagato, when do you think you'll do another Fire Emblem video? Because it's been a while, a long while, like, like two years. Um, when I go full time on YouTube, you will definitely see a Fire Emblem come back because I still want to play that game. I still want to play that. Uh, I go full time officially in June, by the way. Nevertheless, I guarantee you that I will win them over. Understood. As expected from someone so dependable. Well. I still owe you for taking me under your wing. I'm happy to do whatever you require. Keep at it until you get to the bottom of this case. But do not get too attached to them. At this point, their arrest is an inevitability. Adolfo, I, I thank you so much for that, but um, that's going to be kind of an easy thing because I intend to do a face cam uh, more full time later on as well. So. It's a, uh, it's kind of a guarantee it's going to happen. Attached? I haven't been attached to anything in a long time. Zenkichi, are you lying? So you say. And how's the girl? What girl? What girl? Go home. At least every so often. Understood? Wait, he has a, he has, he has a daughter? He has his own daughter. Is that what you're implying? He has his own daughter. Then why did he say he has? You would be attached to your daughter. 
I'm more attached to my phone daughter than you apparently are of yours, if you say what you- or if you meant what you said. Kento Camaro, thank you so much, dude. We donate because you love you, boss, and it's fun to see you break. Ow! Oh, yeah, I see. You just care to see me break. Ow! Oh, I get it. <laughs> Ow! Oh, it's fun to watch me suffer from kindness. Is that right? No way she's buying anything about that world. I've got to wring a lead out of him. Don't take it personally, Phantom Thieves. All I want is this case to be solved. And I'll use you however I have to. You're not going to use us very well, Zenkichi. I have a feeling you're not going to use anything very well. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Why did it crash like that? <laughs> Why did it crash? Yo! Where are we now? Hey, road trip! We're officially on a road trip, guys! It only took us, let's see, it's 11, it only took us an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> Looks like we're coming up on Tochigi Prefecture. We've come a pretty long way. Road trip! Tochigi. Tochigi is famous for the Niko Toshoku Shrine, dedicated to Tokugawa Ieyasu. See, this is the time where I actually wish I had a face cam on because I'm totally dancing to this music right now. <laughs> Eric Hackney, thank you so much. Let's get Kagano back into the German fetish. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Let me read that again. Let's get Kagano back into the German fetish film. I'm sorry, what? I heard the monkey sculptures there are adorable. I wonder if we'll get to see them. Monkey! Ooh, I want strawberries. <gasps> Let's go strawberry picking. Yeah! Apparently, Gyoza is pretty big there, too. Utsunomi is supposed to be the place for it. See, it's not all work, Makoto. We can have fun. You see Gyoza? Oh, hell yeah. We're gonna get some, right? Their dried gourd is famous, too. <laughs> Don't roll out the strawberries. Let's not forget the ramen. I like the strawberries, okay? Uh of all the things to get excited about. Look, I like strawberries! Fuck you, Morgana! Oh, it's understandable. We could all use some time to unwind every now and then. Every, every now and then? Oh, look at Makoto trying to act like a mother and be like, Okay, kids, you can have some fun, I guess, on this trip. And besides, we've already discussed it. We could just go straight to Hokkaido. But we decided it would be more worthwhile to check out a variety of places rather than just one. Woohoo! And there might be jails in other cities besides Shibuya and Sapporo. Not only that, but the supposed monarch of Sapporo won't even be in town till the 8th. We have the time. There's no reason we shouldn't make use of it. Exactly! We've got plenty of time! That's an entire week! That is a whole week! Let's take our time. We should pace ourselves. Let's take our time. Take it easy. Taking the sights, taking the food, taking the, taking the everything. Wait, say we find a jail before that. Does that mean we're sort of hunting for monarchs along the way? I guess. I mean, we can't really leave them alone, can we? Oh, we're taking the Phantom Thieves to a whole new level. This is starting to feel real badass. We're doing the same thing we did before. Haru's even looking at you with concern, Ryuji. Look at her face. <laughs> She's like, I, 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 I can't with this boy. I can't. <laughs> Ultra Wing Gaming, thank you so much, man. Makoto is the mom of the group. It's, yeah, it, she totally is. She totally is. Well, if there is a jail, I'm sure Sophia will let us know. Leave that to me. I should be able to handle it. I think. Sophia, you are my phone daughter, and I love you very much. I know you can do anything that you can put your mind to. Oh, come on, Futaba! Yeah, seriously, who or what are you? I'm humanity's companion. Mm. Ah, she's so cute! There she goes singing again. Uh, <laughs> don't think too hard about it. I'm sure we'll learn more if she sticks around. Isn't that right, Sophia? That's right, Aunt. We already know that actual robots exist in this universe! Let's put our goddamn soul into one stat! Oh, that reminds me, Mako-chan. You've been driving this whole time. Are you doing okay? I have my license too, <gasps> so I can always drive if you want. Ooh, I want to see how Haru drives. Well, you just got yours, Haru, so I'll 
try to handle as much of the driving as I can. <laughs> oh God! Oh, that's gonna. Oh, this is gonna lead up to something. I oh, gotta lead up to something, isn't it? Does anyone else have their license? I don't. Apologies, I do not. Yusuke, you you're taking too much time trying to live, so I can't imagine why you would have a license yet. Me neither. I want to get mine soon, though. Do you have one? Uh, sorry, no. I'm on. Third the letter in the same fucking. Sorry, nope. I'm on. What's the point? They're the same thing. Illusion of choice, much? Well, I guess we did just reach driving age. Sorry, Mako-chan. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? Let Haru drive. Let Haru drive. Although we might be taking more breaks, I wouldn't want to put any of us at risk. Arami Ragnarok. I love that Kagano's super supportive dad. <laughs> That's fine by me. We want our Makoto to stay nice and well rested. So you're going to keep driving Makoto? I think so. For the time being. For the time being, she said. That sounds difficult. Is there anything I can do to help? Unless this truck is Wi-Fi and you can connect to it and drive yourself. I don't think there's really much you can do other than give us directions. Well, since you've asked. Do you think you could find a place to stop and rest? Delight Bane, thank you so much, dude. We know they don't know about the robot option, yeah. I could probably use a break. We can have lunch there, too. Okay, I'd be happy to. There's a riverbank up ahead that should be perfect. Riverbank? Water? Bikinis? Lunch by a river, huh? Oh, man, this is feeling like a real road trip. Yo! This spot is perfect! Wow. That is really nice. Is, is this even real? I've only ever seen this kind of place online. Holy shit, Sophia! Oh god, I'm so glad to have adopted you. Seriously? Oh, and this is the perfect weather for cooking outdoors, too. Shall we get started then? Boss gave us some ingredients, didn't he? He did. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so nice. Cooking lunch with everyone. Oh, Eric Hackney says, The German fetish film bit was something you said during your birthday stream last year due to people dumping the... Oh, you're referencing that? Oh, my God. That was like seven, eight months ago. Oh, my God. I forgot I said that. And I totally get the joke again. Oh, God. Master Chef enables the creation of. I couldn't All finish right. the rest of that. We'll leave the main course to you. Yay! Hold on, I'm grabbing myself a drink. We're only about halfway into the stream or so. I think about halfway in the stream, yes. So let me uh, grab myself ah, a nice, refreshing monster energy drink juice. This is the Pipeline Punch. And it is one of my favorites. My absolute favorite is Pacific Punch because it's like fruit punch. This stuff is pretty good too, though. I love it. Ah. All right, here we go. Hypercag time. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I was given ingredients. Oh, wait, no, LeBlanc curry. Okay, I can make curry with those ingredients, but probably not coffee. All right. At the hideout, you can use ingredients to cook food. These dishes can restore HP and SP or grant buffs, amongst other powerful effects. You'll be able to cook more dishes as you learn recipes. You can obtain recipes from regional shops or through certain events, so make sure to keep an eye out. All right. So, yep, can't do that, but curry... I was about to say coffee and I tried to change it. Now, now it just sounds like Cory. I'm cooking Cory! Something smells great! Some Cory in the house! Looks pretty good! LeBlanc curry. I know that smell. That's Sochi Rose curry, no doubt! Oh, my stomach! I need... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Futaba, you're cute too! Why is everybody cute? Everybody's fucking cute! has been prepared. We're ready whenever. Yusuke's cute! Why is everybody cute? Everybody cute in this game. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I could eat this forever. Indeed. 
and to be surrounded by nature in all its splendor makes it taste that much better. Is there more? <laughs> oh, no. Ultra Wicked Gaming, welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Yusuke wants more. More? Oh god, hashtag feed you skate more. Burn! Ah! And this is the time that I depart laughing money. Oh my god! Burn! God damn it. <laughs> Love you, Bun! Sweet dreams. I'll see you tomorrow. Last. Eight. Feed you skate, please! Well, he has been fed. <laughs> Zeno Nightshade, thank you so much, dude! Hashtag Yusuke has been fed, but he needs to be fed more. He's still a stick. Oh, come on, don't act so depressed. It's not like it's the end of the world. I'll make it again. No need to be sad! It seems my heart's been doomed to a curryless existence for the time being. Please make more next time. Oh my god! I am so sorry! I will make more. I will make double the curry. Triple the curry for Yusuke. A Robbie Ragnarok. Kawaii Kitchen. Thank you so much, dude. Ah, oh, that was killer. I can't even move. We need to strap Yusuke down and put him through the same kind of hell that Homer Simpson went through. Instead of donuts, just force feed him curry. All the curry in the world! Yes! I'm down. Ooh, why don't we roast marshmallows later on, too? We just ate! Well, wait, no, uh, I think Yusuke would actually like that. <laughs> Jeez, you're seriously still thinking about food? I told you, she's a bottomless pit! What of it? There's always room for sweets. All right, we'll finish our break with some tea and sweets, then get going. <laughs> Makoto, stop being so responsible! Oh, Kaka! <laughs> Aging Puck Dad! Thank you so much, dude! For a man taste. For, for a man taste? I stick to monster juice as well. Monster juice is delicious. Um, It doesn't taste like man, though. I can say that much. I... I, I, I hope you meant to say for a man with taste rather than a man taste. I don't want to be drinking something that tastes like man. Monster juice is people! Monster juice is people! Ah, I'm drinking it right now. Ah, ha, ha. Holy shit, thank you so much, man. Holy crap. Everyone enjoyed their lunch. I'm joining my my apparent man juice. <laughs> Wait, I probably should have said man juice. Oh my god, what have I done? Ah, eh, fuck it. Ah. I feel like we've been on the road for a while. Where are we now? We'll be entering Sendai soon. We made a lot of stops, but no sign of any jails, huh? Uh, true. Well, I'm definitely feeling a little more relaxed now. I wouldn't want those things popping up everywhere. Also, it's getting kind of dark. How about we call it a day? Yes, we should decide where we want to stay for tonight. Shouldn't we eat first? Uh, what's good in Sendai? As far as local delicacies go, there's always beef tongue. Ooh. There's plenty of specialty shops around. Why am I not surprised that Haru knows about a very unique form of food somewhere? First, she's got elephant poop coffee, and now beef tongue. <laughs> Spiral Blaze, thank you so much, dude. Finally caught up. Sorry for being really late. It's okay, dude. I'm sorry for doing these so late. Uh, but I hope you're doing okay tonight and glad you're loving the experience of Scramble after a while, uh, after a while last time. Yeah, um, lots of stuff has distracted me from this game and I'm glad I'm back into it because just playing it right now is just making me think, Why the hell have I taken this long? Nonsense. 
Alicia says that sounds. We must go to Mount Aoba Park and see the remains of Sendai Castle. Um, Yusuke. You know what? No. No, 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 no. I was about to say Yusuke was going to pass up food for art, but then I just realized art is his passion. Food comes after. <laughs> they house a statue of the late Lord Date Masamune. I'd very much like to see the one-eyed dragon for myself. Well, we should have just said so. Yep. Oh, my God. Yep, we do the uh, most quality of jokes here on this show. We don't go for the low-hanging fruit at all. Uh, I want to take a bath first. I'm not sleeping in the camp or all sweaty and sticky. Jeez, we're all over the place on this one. So, why not we, um... We go and see the thing, then we go eat, then we go bathe, and then we go sleep. We just go in that order, we're fine. Um, well, what should we do? Everyone calm down, rock, paper, scissors. We'll do it all. This is where I come in. Yay, Sophia. Searching. Overnight parking lots. Eat tongue. Dante Masamune and nearby bathhouses. Leave it to me. I'll find the most efficient route to everything you've suggested. Yay! Wow, you can do all that, Sophia? This is why I love my phone daughter. It's nothing special. I'm just doing a wide search and lining up our destinations. We should first head to the parking lot at Mount Alba Park. Then we can walk to the statue of Masamune. Huh? Ah? Uh? Huh? What's that, girl? Do you smell something? Hmm? What's up? The smell. There might be a jail here. Ah-ha! Uh -huh! I knew it! Whoa, for real? Take a shot. You tell just off that, huh? Take that shot. Everybody take the shot. I better be seeing you all in the chat right now taking that shot. Are you sure, Sophia? I think so. I can't pinpoint it yet. And that may be because of the distance. But this feels the same as Shibuya. Let's check it out. All right, then. We're heading to Sendai. We shouldn't be too much longer. Yes. God damn it, I love it. <laughs> Ooh. Well, Sophia, can you smell the jail? <laughs> I'm surprised we're even saying it like that. Can you smell the jail? <laughs> yes, I'm sure of it. There's a jail somewhere in this city. I am seeing people in the chat drinking things like water and soda. I demand some liquor. <laughs> so there really are more jails besides the one in Shibuya? Beer and wine are also acceptable. If there's a jail, then something rotten's going on around town. You're right. We'll need to look into that first. And how are we supposed to do that? Sendai's a pretty big city, after all. We could check some more of the popular sightseeing spots. We might hear something if there's people around. Great thinking. And what's more, we're right here in Mount Aoba Park, home to the statue of Lord Masamune. Oh, well, then there you go, Yusuke. You get your wish. <laughs> Kento, no! A gun does not count, Kento! Put the gun away, Kento! <laughs> but thank you anyway. Thank you to Arami Ragnarok. <laughs> thank you too so much. Dude, you can check out the statue tomorrow. I'm starving. Isn't the statue like right here though? Did he say it's literally right here? Excuse me. There's no guarantee the statue will still be here come sunrise. I'm sorry. Are they willing? Are they like trying to take it down or something? A trip is a once in a lifetime experience. Once you've set a plan. You must act on it without the Plans can change, Yusuke. We're still gonna see the damn thing, though. Ah, there he goes. I'll never understand that logic of his. Carl Seppe says, I only have a uh, hot sauce. Does this count? I will accept the hot sauce, yes. By the way, Mako-chan, did you find out if it's okay for us to sleep in the car tonight? Yes, I actually just got confirmation. At least we won't have to worry about finding a place to sleep. Yay! And it looks like there are lots of sightseers here, so we 
We should have plenty of chances to ask around. Should we check out the statue? It's only a short walk from here, right? It's close. Very close. So close. Let us depart. Lord Masamune awaits. Nice. Does Ghost Pepper Pace qualify for a shot? Sure. Why not? <laughs> God, I love the music! <laughs> Dino Dude 889 thank you so much, man. Dude, I can't stand alcohol, but I'll still take a shot of pop. Fine, fine. I will allow you non-alcoholic drinkers to drink non-alcoholic things. Just this once. All right, let's go check out Dante Masamune's statue. It's supposed to be near here. I guess we're going over here. There he is. Oh, so this is it. This is that Masamune statue Inari was going on and on about. He looks so cool. I bet he'd be cutting down shadows left and right if he were in a jail with us. Ah, uh, probably, yeah. Such remarkable craftsmanship. It's truly the one-eyed dragon in all his glory. Oh my. I'm touched how majestic. It's so cool. How majestic. <laughs> Indeed. I should have expected as much from such an icon. We must come back during the day. Hmm? Brian Nord, thank you so much, dude. Uh, me actually drinking blue raspberry Svedka. Nice. Ooh, raspberry. Mm, sounds good. The hell? What's all this about? Um, by the looks of it, it looks like something out of Castlevania. Prince of Nightmares, Volume 1. 20th reissue celebration? Wait, 20th reissue The v tw 20 reissues! Reissue celebration? So they're promoting a book? I doubt they got permission to do this. Maybe it's some kind of prank. What a reprehensible miscreant. Putting up such tasteless flyers for their own game. Let's take them down. <gasps> Yay! All nice and clean now. Well, have you scared? Yes. Now that I've seen the great Masamune, my apologies for taking so much of everyone's time. Let's move on. Look, everybody else gets something of theirs or something that they want a lot on this team. And quite frankly, I'm glad that Yusuke finally gets some things, you know? I feel like he gets screwed out of a lot of stuff, and it's kind of nice that we're actually giving him something. Another reason why I like this game. JG Gerard, thank you so much, man. I honestly listened to what was taught in school about the dangers of alcohol as well as... Had a childhood friend pass away from over drinking. Oh, I am very sorry. I, I am very sorry about that. So, all right. Remember everybody, drink responsibly. Seriously, don't drink just for the sake of being drunk. Drink because you enjoy it. And don't be a dumb and decide that you want to hop in a car and start driving because oh, you're too much of a manly man or a manly woman to to get somebody to drive you home. Don't be dumb, drink responsible. <sighs> As I'm drinking my monster juice. All right, that's one item off the list. Next up, Beat Tone City. <laughs> Let's see if these local flavors are enough to impress a sophisticated palate like mine. We barely ever see you eat anything, Morgana. We just feed you cat food. Get in if we bring a cat along. <laughs> well, Morgana, we'll bring you a we'll, we'll bring you a kitty bag. Dino Dude 889, thank you so much, man. Oh god, you're gonna want to shove the guy's head into a wood chipper. No spoilers though. Oh my god, is this okay? What? <laughs> oh, oops. 
Well, we leave Morgana in the car. Sendai Sakigan, the Gyutin restaurant. Oh. Holy shit. Is this real? Take a shot. Mm, this meat was so thick, so soft. Damn, that's good. Ha <laughs> ha! Phrasing! Ryuji, cut it out! You're spitting all over me! Stop spitting all over my Futaba! Uh, I think these guys are over here. <laughs> oh my god! This! I now get it! I finally get it! I get it! Holy shit! I finally get it! Guys, I finally understand why I like this game so much more than the original Persona 5. It's because there's actually a group and friend dynamic going on here. It was like they were just co-workers that were somewhat friends in uh, the original game. Here, I'm getting the Persona 4 vibes of the friends just hanging out and goofing around. This is what I was missing! Oh god, I now know why I like this game. Oh god, yes. Well, that and the combat's fun too. JG Gerard, actually, it was because he laid down on his back. Okay. I don't even want to know what his regular diet is. Oh. Like. This is enough to make him cry. Actually, he laid it down. Oh, I get it. Food's delicious. I get it. I, I read that. I was like, wait, what were you referring to? And then I realized what you were referring to. So I get it. I'm sorry about that, man. Hey, let me have some too. Shut up, Kenny. Oh, I swear, you are the noisiest cat on the planet. I can't to split some with you. Not happening. You heard the dude. Too bad. Just got to make do with the smell. My beef tongue, not yours. Don't be such a pig. I'm hungry too, you know. Not so loud, you idiot! Is that a cat I hear? Uh oh. Oh shit. That must be an important person. After all, we have a portrait. Eric Hackney, Ryuji and Chi would get along famously over meat. Yeah, no kidding. Am I hearing things? I could have sworn I heard a cat. Um. Meow. Meow. I'm, um, I'm, I'm working on my cat noises because, uh, the girl in pink across the table likes me as her pet? I don't know! I'm what? Shut up! Oh, uh, nope. Not a real cat, at least. Uh, we were just practicing our cat sounds. God damn it, Ond! I just said the same thing! Uh oh, I actually opened up my Steam. <laughs> Let's just put that down. <laughs> uh, meow? Fucking hell! Uh, <laughs> what he said. Meow. Oh, come on. You're not fooling anyone. <laughs> God damn it, Zero Noji, cocking it on sure her brain cell. <laughs> yes, exactly. Hashtag, why do I do commentary? <laughs> Seems to me like he's in the bag of the gentleman with the glasses. Oh, that's sweet. Are you going to share? Are you going to tell? You and your cat should partake in the finest beef tongue this restaurant has to offer. You don't have to say it out loud. We're going to get thrown out. Sorry, you're right. If you get thrown out, then no more beef tongue. I don't know who this woman is, but I kind of like her. <laughs> By the way, is this your first time having Sendai beef tongue? I should tell you, the oxtail soup's to die for. I fucking love oxtail! No, for real! Oh god, take a shot. For real though, take another shot. I love oxtail! It is so delicious! Hell yeah! Give me some of that! Did you know oxtail soup is packed with collagen? A lot of people 
people seem to think it's good for your skin. I know, right? But that's also why it's so tender and juicy. Because it's perfectly packed with collagen and just enough fat that makes it taste like the best pot roast in the world. It is so goddamn good. I cannot say it enough. Oxtail is delicious. They say it's not as effective when ingested, but there's a fair number of reports that suggest otherwise. Fuck it, oxtail right now. Human cognition can be quite misleading. You may think you feel a change when none has occurred. This is the placebo effect and Okay, one, she's definitely a scientist. Two, she mentioned cognition, so that's probably why she's got a portrait. Three, watch her become one of the main villains or something. I'm on to you! Even though I kinda like you! You got you got a big long chain for an earring. Does that hook onto something? Are you kicking it like that? The Light Pain, Kira Buckland, voice 2B from Near Automata, which is a game that I still need to play. The most I've done for Near Automata is the uh, crossover event in Final Fantasy XIV. No, dude, she's just going on and on. Look, she likes the. I think I went on the Hawks more than she did. Does she even notice us talking right now? <laughs> this overwhelming onslaught of pointless info. We got ourselves a nerd, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! <laughs> Wait, I feel triggered. Uh, sorry about, you know, the bag thing. <laughs> Brayden Patterson says Yusuke doesn't even care. Y you're right! Everyone there is just focused on her. Yusuke's just still sitting and eating like he doesn't give a shit. Oh, God. Uh, what? Oh, you mean the cat? Don't worry, I won't tell the staff or anything. Thank you! The patient one, thank you so much, man. Kagano, you can't be onto her yet. She was talking about oxtail, not pancakes. <laughs> By the way, are you all students? Yes, we are. Uh, uh, no, I'm a dad! I'm a dad! Are you a maid? I'm a dad. We're in high school. I. Okay, we're in high school, we're in college. That should have been, I'm a dad! That sh Missed opportunity! Missed opportunity! Because I am totally a dad. I have adopted phone daughter. Uh, we're in college. Hmm. I could see a couple of you being in college. But not you. You've still got an air of innocence about you. <laughs> oh, you do not understand me at all, then. In which case, you'll be taking your entrance exam soon, right? where you're going to apply yet? She is really wanting to get involved in whatever's going up! Oh, forgive me. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Kwan Ichinose. I work as a researcher over at Toho University. Kwan Ichinos! <laughs> I'm sorry. I look at that name, Ichinose. I just see Itchy Nose, okay? Kwan Ichinos. I work as a researcher over at Toho University. Edwika7, thank you so much. A villain, but she's overly nice in a Persona game. I know. It's amazing. Overly nice in a Persona game is basically a death sentence for becoming a villain. Well, you might die. <laughs> you still might die, but you're still a villain. Villain! I paint ye as a villain, maybe. Arami Ragnarok. Oh, yeah, I've caught up on Final Fantasy XIV. I know, right? Bears. The bears? The bears. Oh, uh, you know, we kind of got something going on already. So we don't exactly got the time. I see, I see. Yes, well, it's important that you do what you want while you're still young. Allow me to impart a little treat till next we meet. Can't, can't candy. Uh, sure. Can't candy. <laughs> That is... Okay, look. Uh, Stranger gave us candy. I don't know what's worse. The fact that a stranger just gave us candy randomly, or the fact that she looked down on us, like, so much as, like, oh, little children, here's some candy. <laughs> well, then. I've had my fill of beef tongue, so it's probably best if I get going. Farewell, young ones. So, uh, she was 
weirdly energetic, huh? Itchy nose, uh... Very interesting! Very interesting! But thankfully, we avoided getting in trouble. We should be grateful she didn't tell on us. Sorry. That was my fault. You damn right it is your fault, Morgana. No beef tongue for you. Nah, I got carried away too. Damn right it is your fault, Ryuji. No beef tongue for you either. Give me that candy. Sorry, Mona-chan. We'll buy you some sasa kamaboko later. You mean the fish cake on the skewers with that nice layer of jar on top? Oh, I can't wait. Nice. Oh my gosh. Oh, his latest work was just perfect. I was up all night reading it. Two nights in a row, if you can believe that. Speaking of which, I read in a magazine interview that he's going to be at the station today. Oh, there was no way I'm missing that. Oh, they must be talking about the thing that was going on with the posters on the statue. Alright, let's finish eating. And quietly this time. Yeah, more God or Yuji. Yes, ma'am. The beef tongue was amazing. So, wait, if you eat beef tongue, does that mean that you're basically French kissing a cow? Food for thought! Ooh, I'm stuffed. How you can eat five bowls of rice is beyond me. Is your stomach a black hole or something? Who's she referring to? Odd or Yusuke? Look, if they're offering free refills, then you can bet I'm ordering them. Neither is Ryuji! Indeed. You can eat the first bowl and focus exclusively on the glistening of the meat. Then the aroma on the next, and so on. <laughs> oh my god, everyone's reaction to what I said. <laughs> Pretty sure that's just you. Well, I will say the fruit here certainly is delicious. <laughs> I am not sorry. <laughs> We should leave where we eat up to Sophia now, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Hmm? What's going on over there? Natsumi-san, your lady says she was just amazing as always. Natsumi-san, over here. Can you please sign my copy? Look, I'm not Sophia, but even I can smell some bullshit coming from over there. <laughs> Thank you for all your support. Whoa, hold on now. Only one autograph per person, please. Oh, I can just see the smug on this guy. Oh, my apologies, but could the men please go to the back of the line? Ladies first, you see. Oh, fucking hell, I hate this guy again. Again, already. That's the word I wanted. I hate this guy already. What the hell's that? JG Gerard, so Kagata, which would you try to do? The Mega Beef Bowl or the Big Bang Burger Challenge? Probably the Mega Beef Bowl. The Big Bang Dirt Burger Challenge, that thing is as big as my torso. There's no way I'm finishing that. He looks pretty popular. I heard that woman say latest book. Does that mean he's a writer? <laughs> oh no. Hello there. Are you looking for an autograph as well? Or perhaps a handshake. Haru, brandish your axe! Huh? Um... Oh, how terribly rude of me to keep such lovely fans waiting. Fuck it, I'm brandishing your axe. Ah! Please, accept this as a token of my apology, yes? Don't worry, I've already signed it. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this guy! <laughs> Get the fuck away from my Haru! Um, okay. Listen, uh, we were just passing by. Ah, uh, is that so? It seems I got a little ahead of myself. You're damn right, you did! Prince of Nightmares, by Ango Natsume. Yours truly, Ango Natsume. It's a pleasure. Prince of Nightmares. That's the name from those flyers on the Masamune statue. 
My flyers on Masamune's statue? Ah, I think I know what happened. That's most likely the work of some of my more zealous fans. I appreciate them promoting my work, but... Mm. Well then, I see that uh, the warnings of the next person were true and that I'd want to punch him in the face. I've only known him for a few moments and I already hate him. The Light Bane, props to him. He knows that Haru is hot. Yeah, that's true. Thank you so much, dude. And Dino Dude 889 see what I mean, boss? Yes, I see exactly what you mean. Thank you very much. I hate him. It appears they went overboard somewhat. Honestly, they can be a real handful sometimes. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. In exchange, allow me to offer you a kiss. Oh my, okay, Haru suplex him. Eric Hatton, you think you so much, Scott. You get the hell away from my wife. <laughs> Yo, back off, dude. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? That's enough. Get it. Seriously, back off. And who are you supposed to be? Her boyfriend, asshole. I believe I was addressing these lovely young ladies here. I thank you not to interrupt. I thank you to ditch your happy mole-faced ass back over yonder before I hurl you there. Mm, sorry, but you're with us. If you got a problem, you can always talk to me. <laughs> Do you seriously think you can get away with speaking to me like that? Uh, yes. He did, actually. He, he literally just did. <laughs> Try me! got some backbone, doesn't he? Mr. Natsume, we need to get moving soon. <laughs> well then, it seems I must be going. I've a magazine interview to get to. Good for you! Don't give a fuck! To all those who have read my book, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh God! Oh, he's just so dreamy. Oh God! Buy ten more copies tomorrow to show him just how much I care. Oh wow! Send more after him. <laughs> That's a good idea, Kento. He doesn't like dudes that much. All right, send the biggest of penises. Who was that man? Never mind. I take it back. He's the biggest of penises. I don't know if he was some local big shot or whatever, but he sure was pissing me off. He was a strange one for sure, but the people around him seemed really happy. Why was that? Probably because they're a bunch of weirdos. I must agree. He wasn't at all deserving of such praise, even in the form of flattery. Are you all right, Haru? Mm-hmm. I was just a little surprised as all. Yeah, if he tried to get any closer, I would have just Hulk smashed him like Hulk did to Loki. How did jerk like him get so popular? Ugh, doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Maybe it has something to do with the book that he wrote? I don't know. There might be something else going on here. He could even be changing people's hearts. That's also true. Aha! You mean... He's the monarch of the Sendai jail? Would make a lot of sense, and that means he can go beat somebody up. Oh, boy. It's just one possibility. No, I, I think you might be onto something. If he's the monarch, then everything else totally makes sense. We'll need to look into this. Let's gather some intel first. Huh. I got my laptop back at the RV. Should be able to dig something up from there. Yay! Hmm. That Ango Natsume. <clears throat> I'm sorry, it appears my balls have dropped. That Ango Natsume. We may not have any evidence on him being a monarch yet, but he sure is fishy. Let's go back to the camper. We should work out how we want to gather intel on him. Then we can go from there. Mm -hmm. Eric's right. Japan really has a thing for scummy rich guys trying to seduce lead females. Hey. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't explore? Fine, I guess I'm going to the camper. 
who's had some ad talks, and that's what really is the total package. How many copies of Prince of Nightmares did you buy? Oh my god. So we have sipping for the woman, and now sipping for the man. Simps everywhere. Let's go. Come on, let's get going. We're going. To... Shut up, Morgan. I can't. Oh my god. Okay, well, I, I can't buy anything. All right, fine. More Thanks. deep voice, Morgana. <laughs> Meow, bitch. Meow. Sophia, you can confirm there's a jail here, correct? The smell got a lot stronger once we entered the city. So yes, I'm sure of it. If the smell is like what he smells like, yeah, we're going to be smelling a lot of bullshit in this game. And the man we met earlier, his name was Ango Natsume? Simp City is right, Arlene. <laughs> I just did a quick search on him. Here's what came up. Arami Ragnarok, making a bigger deal out of the fact you're in a new city. I really wanted to explore! It's like, hey, it's a new place! Let me at least run around a little bit, but no! You must go back to the camper! It's like, go to sleep all over again, damn it, Morgana! Ango Natsume, grandson to renowned writer Sogo Natsume. Currently a successful light novel author. Says the guy kicked off his career with his debut work, Prince of Nightmares, which won the grand prize in the Sokaisha Awards. This thing's selling stupidly well. It sold a million copies alone. A million? That's kind of nuts, right? Uh, it's nothing special. Are you kidding? It's a borderline miracle. Debuts almost never hit numbers like that, even the really good ones. I checked social media, and, well... This whole thing is kind of bizarre. Yeah? Natsume's fans are probably going on some kind of rampage, right? There's a rumor that some people got beat within an inch of their lives just because they were sort of dressed like Natsume's characters. Wait, what? I thought dressing like Nats uh, dressing like a character is like paying respect to that character. Is it different in Japan? Is it different in Japan? Like if you dress as a character that is treated as disrespectful or something? But no, there's co cosplay is a thing in Japan, though. I I don't get it. Right. The worst part is that no one stepped in to stop them. In fact, the attackers were praised for what they did. These are likely the same kinds of people who defile Masamune's statue with flyers. They clearly lack self-restraint. The fans at the station seemed really passionate, too. It was almost like they were part of a cult. I'm checking some of the online forums. It looks like there's about a hundred threads created about this dude almost every day. Oh, God. And they're all positive. Not only that, but all of these IP addresses are from Sendai. Really? Yep, that sounds like a monarch to me. That's crazy suspicious. This is definitely our guy then, right? Uh, maybe he's just that good? Yeah, no. No way am I saying that. That's true. We haven't determined his abilities as a writer yet. If he really is just some freakishly talented writer, then the jail here has nothing to do with him. And he earned all that praise, right? But there's still a chance he's our monarch too, ain't there? That's what we're gonna find out. Tomorrow, we'll go into town and see what intel we can dig up. I hate to say it, but we might as well buy one of the books as well and see what it's all about. If he's the monarch, then there's a good chance we'll run into some victims who've had their hearts changed. Just like in Shibuya. Oh yeah, we should probably let Inspector Gramps know too. <laughs> oh god. Well, um... We have, uh, we have Detective Dad, and apparently it's Inspector Gramps. All right, we got his name now, Inspector Gramps. Dino Dude 889 thank you so much, man. Sounds like normal fan base is OH, SHIT! OH, GOD, KATO! KATO! Ah! That guy, he looked like he could be right. Also, my bank wanted to be stupid and think it's not me doing the- What? It's <laughs> What? What? Ah! Oh 
Also, oh, wait, did, did he put away the book? I thought he was trying to give it to Haru, but then he put it away. I, I could have sworn he put the book away. Good idea. He might be able to give us some other clues, too. Okay. Well, I guess we should all probably hit the hay. That ass. Busy day tomorrow. That asshole does not look anything like me. I refuse to be compared to him! Kato, thank you so, so much, dude! Holy shit! Why the hell are we sleeping up? Um, girls in bottom bunk? Oh, Robbie Ragnarok, thank you so much, man. Unfortunately, unless you're a carbon copy of the character, people will still be mad. Ah, uh, yeah. Might as well be sleeping outside. Ain't it gonna be cramped? There's nothing we can do. There isn't enough room in the car. Besides, it's not as bad as you say. Back when there were more students at the atelier, it was quite normal for us to sleep huddled together due to lack of space. Ha! <laughs> well, at least Yusuke's used to it. JG Gerard, Inspector Gramps, great. Now imagine the Inspector Gadget. <laughs> da 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 da, Inspector <laughs> Gramps. <laughs> oh, oh my god, and the funny thing is that the Inspector Gadget team would actually fit him very, very well. <laughs> it actually would, if you really think about it, him bumbling around in the Inspector Gadget theme. It actually would make a lot of sense. <laughs> Always keep cool in the weirdest possible way. You know that? Come on, guys. Are we really just gonna call it a night? Shouldn't we, like, all be playing cards till super late or stargazing or something? I don't know. For some cards? Ain't that the kind of shit we're supposed to do on a big trip like this? Um. Sleep is fun. <laughs> I'm missing the point. <laughs> Anyway, so you'd better get some rest. Man, it's gonna be hot as hell with three of us and Morgana, ain't it? Very true. That fur certainly won't help things either. Oh, what do you want from me? I can't help that I'm a cat. Not that I'm actually a cat, though. Oh, Jesus! Guys, shut up. Shit. Sorry. Yikes. Okay, on. Calm down. I didn't know you were asleep. We decide to turn in for the night. <laughs> Just cut the Joker with his eyes wide open and bloodshot. Wrong. Not like that. Like this. This. Ah, uh, Yusuke's dreaming about his first time having sex. <sighs> I fell asleep to the sound of everyone's peaceful breathing. Nope, nope, nope. That's not my head cannon. My head cannon is Joker just laying there, eyes as wide as fucking possible, completely bloodshot. Everyone else is asleep, but he can't take it. That would be funnier. You missed another joke, Atlas. Funk. Awesome! All right, made a Sendai station. Let's score us some leads on that smug bastard. Aww. Sheesh, take it down a notch, dude. You're bouncier than a grade schooler on summer vacation. We are on vacation, and it is summer. And he's got the brain of a grade schooler, so hey, hey you're absolutely right. You mean Joker with Igor's eyes? Yes! Joker with Igor's eyes. Yes, exactly. Are you all right, Futaba? Are you not a morning person? Uh, I didn't sleep much last night. I can't get comfy without my usual pillow. Why didn't you bring it with you then? I actually pack my pillow sometimes for that very reason. <laughs> well, it was our first night sleeping in the RV, so I suppose it's no surprise. You'll get used to it over time, I'm sure. The station is really busy for a weekday. 
Maybe because everyone's out from school? Hmm. The shopping arcade is only a short walk away. The T Tanabata Festival decorations are apparently a popular attraction for sightseers. Nicholas Rivera, thank you so much, dude. You should be able to explore the shops now. Hey, hey! Thank you so much, man! Oh, I see. Sendai's Tanabata Festival is coming up soon. Seems there's plenty of shops to draw a crowd. Perhaps we should try asking around over there? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do the same thing we did with Alice. Let's meet up, uh, we'll meet up again once we found something. Time to investigate. <laughs> Finally, freedom! Freedom to explore the city! Alright, well, I guess since we're right here, let's talk to Makoto. What a crowd. I wonder what's going on. It feels a bit off, I guess. Hmm. What do we got here? Welcome. Purifying Ash. Hotspot. Sunday. Magazine about thrilling and fellow Sunday had increased the showtime gauge. Oh, it's just a usable item. Nah, I don't need that. I don't need that right now. Besides, I don't really know how much money I actually have. Oh yeah. This is where we came for beef tongue. We'll have to come back one day. Welcome. Get your guillotine right here. Take again. Cooking recipes from shops. Okay. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Missed out on any recipes? It is still possible to buy them from Sophie's online shop. However, be aware that obtaining them this way will be much more expensive. Oh my god, you're right. Oh my god, you're right. That's like holy shit, ten times the price. Please come back soon. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Think again, that all. Thanks, a bundle. Something smells delicious. Maybe I should sit down and try it. What a coincidence. Wait. <laughs> Are you planning on ordering Kyoten stew? Then allow me to join you. I hear the beef tongue when softened in stew is simply divine. I must confirm this for myself. I enjoyed eating gyoten stew with Yusuke. What in heaven? Superb. Truly superb, Kagato. Oh. Oh, God, yes. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> oh cool. Yep, move it on, 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 move it on. Moving on. <laughs> Nope, 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 don't need to go that way. Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna probably be wrapping this up here fairly soon. Not, uh, not super, super soon, but, uh, decently soon. Uh, so, um, basically once we get into the next main part, like right before we're about to go into the, uh, palace, I would think? Palace, uh, the jail. You know what I'm talking about. Hmm? Oh, this guy. Why? Why do this to me, my honey pie? We swore our love each to each other over here. You told me how special I was to you, so why? What did I do wrong? Mm. Sub- yeah, this- this seems to be very much a complete opposite to before. Let's see. Wow, this is a big place! Holy crap! Oh yeah. Hi, Lavenza! Oh. Check out these things hanging from the ceiling! They look like aliens! Aliens. <clears throat> they are apparently called streamers. In Sendai, they're known for being taught with a large ball called Kusudama. Now that I think about it, isn't Tanabata celebrated in July? It looks like Tanabata is observed using the old lunar calendar, so the festival is held a month later, in August. Huh? I didn't know if I follow you. I don't know if, if I follow you, but whatever. August rolls. So many shops. What the heck? Uh, this sucks. Uh, something wrong? 
Oh, Kagado, I was wandering around the shopping area here. And now I've got... Oh, my God! <coughs> I need a drink. My throat's getting tickled. And now I've got sweets on the brain. With all these dessert shops and food stands around, the temptation's the worst. Uh. I almost fold in when I saw a place with Kyoto ice cream that also sells chocolate bananas. All right, sorry about that. I should get back to asking around about Natsume. I feel like I've heard the name Natsume before, though. I feel like not like I really feel like I've heard the name Natsume. Something is amiss. Look, Kagato. The general store over there is usually packed with female customers. Perhaps it's just my imagination, but their eyes seem hollow. Really? Natsume. Oh, the video game company. The video game company Natsume. They did uh. Blah, 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 blah. Harvest Moon! Harvest Moon! Not to me, Harvest Moon! Ooh, the store owners were real surprised to learn who Haru's family is. At first, they were all stiff and nervous, but Haru's too warm for anyone to keep that up long. She had him singing in no time. Oh, it was crazy seeing how people treat the upper crust, let alone Haru's ability to get him to stop. She's so amazing. Oh, Haru, darling, how did you do? My. Oh, hello. I've been asking around the shops here. Apparently, Sendai's in the middle of Natsume fever. Apparently, it's even affecting some of the shop staff. I ever heard some of the complaints that it's getting bad for business. People no call, no showing, or even ditching their shifts partway uh, through to go pick up more copies of Natsume's book. Could it be? Could their hearts have been changed? Uh, their desires were taken. That's what's up. Oh, I nearly forgot. When I told one of the local restaurant owners that I was on a trip with my friends, he gave me this. It's a hamburger from a local chain using only local ingredients. They said it's very good. Gyotenburger! Alright, um, let's see. Hello, we've got fresh ingredients in stock. They're delicious! Take your time. Uh, so that's what I, already, you're I already bought a guillotine. Let's so get coffee bean, carrot, onion, rice, salmon, pock. One of everything. One of everything, please. <gasps> I just realized, Big Bang Burger! There's no day or night in space. Would you like to try the Gyotin Burger? Only available for a limited time. I can take your order whenever. Apara's March Kaja. Whoa! All allies, it gives them that buff. Thank That's pretty damn good. Thank you so much. Uh, 30 to 1 ally, 21 ally. Have you decided? Another Big Bang Burger! Every time there's a Big Bang Burger, I gotta buy a Big Bang Burger! It's just, it's, it's just what I gotta do! Big Bang Burger! Big Bang Burger! Delicious yucky soba here for a great price. Come and get some! Welcome. Come and get your yucky soba! Oh, I already get better from... Look, I already bought a Big Bang Burger that does the same thing, Please so... I don't need your sticking yucky sobas. Going across over here. Pineapple shop! Hey there, pal. Interested in trying some chilled pineapple? Source tent. Yeah, sure, why not? Come again. Come again, alright? General Star! Welcome! Huh? Ongo Natsume? Of course I know him. He seems to like our products. A lot of his fans give him give them to him as gift. They sell like hotcakes, I tell you. It's all thanks to Natsume! <laughs> But just between you and me, I'm honestly kind of worried about how much money the fans are spending on all this stuff. That's not unlike what was happening with Alice. She had fans pouring in and abnormal amounts of money, too. Care to buy something? What is it that you see? Oh. Keychain with a popular local character? Okay. Oh, 20 SP or Agility 4. An eye patch that evokes feelings of an unparalleled warrior. Nice. But, no, nope, not interested in either one right now. 
Oh, hi, skeptical woman. Oh, you want to know about Ango Natsume? <laughs> you and the rest of society. Everyone's talking about him lately, and that makes me sick. Pretentious pricks like that are always hiding something. I like this woman. I heard business has been good lately thanks to all that Natsume gift merch. People need to wake up. There are plenty of other good authors out there. Uh -huh. Welcome! Bamboo Monica! Bamboo Yokin! Guilt and ice cream! Uh, no. I don't need none of that shit! Don't need no. How about this place? Chocolate bananas! Would you like some chocolate bananas? They're sweet and delicious! Got right there! 30 HP to what? Fuck that shit. Thanks. I bought it anyway. Whoops. Thanks. Fine. I'll take your chocolate banana and I will put it in my mouth and I will eat it later. Yes, Anya, you have more to say? Hmm. I've heard his name come up every so often. But it's never been about his book. Just about how much people idolize him. It's kind of weird. Alright. 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 All right, all right. Oh, Ryuji, hi. By the way. Kind of, kind of crowded here, huh? Like, even more like that Shibuya. Asking around is going to be a pain. Is that it? Uh, did I get everybody here? I think I got everybody that's here. Unless, uh... Oh, wait, Haru has more to say. I hope Okubara Foods can be as good representative of regional flavors as well one day. Oh, okay. Well, that's it. Let's go back. All right. No, that's not the way I need to go. Okay. So, looks like we're done with this area. All right. Good night, Spyro. I'm going to be wrapping up here pretty soon anyway, so you're not going to miss too, too much. Uh, so, don't worry. Besides, I've uh, screamed so much from everyone's overkill of kindness that I, my voice is starting to get really ticklish anytime I'm just talking normally. Whew. Wait, wait, wait. The people murmuring. The two going murmur, 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 murmur. Okay, hold on. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Murmur, 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 Uh, oh, oh, shit. Okay, um, whoops. Hey, Kagado, can you wish so that things will work out between me and Lady An? No! Alright, there are murmurs going on around here. Oh, oh, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. I see it, thank you. Kokami, thank you so much, dude. Look at this. Bookworm deleted her social media account. Is it Bookworm, that author you really like? She's been putting on quite a lot of work lately. Maybe she got depressed. Her last post did mention how she's tired of trying to make her voice heard in a vacuum. Do you think Ango Natsume is the cause? Have you read Ango's book? The story and the dialogue, it's so similar to what Bookworm would do. Hey, be careful. We're talking about Sogo Natsume's grandson here. You'll get flamed if you talk about him carelessly. Hey. Hey, did you hear that? She seems suspicious of Ango Natsume stealing other people's work. I wonder if it's true or... Oh my god, he's a plagiarist. That's what's going on. Is he a plagiarist? Is he? Oh, Yusuke's not gonna like this. Oh, this was this is definitely the Yusuke chapter, more than likely. Copying art, cause writing is art. Wait. Nope, can't go down there. Kakami is saying that Super Chat keeps screwing you over. What? What are you trying to do, Kakami? A message never gets sent, but my money does. 
Uh, that, okay, I'm watching the chat. Go on ahead and send your message, dude. I'll look out for it. Pro tip, on the left side of the end of the shopping center, there's a grocery store where you can get more ingredients for other foods. Okay. Yeah, he's totally Matarame 2.0. Looking around, looking around, looking around, looking around. Plagiarism farm! Oh my god, you're right! It's another branch of the plagiarism farm! Chris the Crazy, welcome to Ago's plagiarism farm. Ah! <laughs> you're right! Alright, here's somebody. I need to buy every last one, then maybe Ango will finally notice me! <laughs> If I don't hurry, I'll miss his book signing. What did you say? <laughs> Damn. Morgana just pops out of the bag, gets in her face. What the fuck you just say? Natsume's doing a book signing? Search complete. Natsume will be holding a book signing nearby. It's happening very soon. Really? Wait, is that why they're all here? The bookstore's in a mall named Porto, and the event starts in one hour. I see. All right, Kagado, let's come back when we're done collecting the rumors. Okay, Kokami says, About those local accessories, you may want to buy them because you can't get them once you've left Sendai. I know, but... I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I might... I might get it. I might get it. I'll see how much money that I have and if I really want, like, the agility and the SP. Hey! I got it. All done. All right. We got plenty of intel now. I'd say it's safe to call it quits. Remember Natsume's autograph session we heard about? This is our chance to see him in person. Let's do some first party reconnaissance. Let's indeed. I'm not done. Let's indeed. Yeah, I'm pretty much done here. We're getting everyone together? Okay, I'll contact them for you. Hmm. Thanks, Sophia. We should get over there ourselves. Come on down on this place, Rosen Bar! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Where was it I said? That smug bastard being promoted all over the place. <laughs> I can go in insane. Where we take your produce and plant it for our benefits! <laughs> oh my god. Monterey is plagiarism. There's a lot of different edits that I've done. That was one of the easiest ones I've done and yet I'm surprised at how memorable it has become to the people uh, to uh, all those that have subscribed to me all you guys I, I I'm serious like I wasn't really thinking that much when I did that I was just like hey it seems like a dumb joke let me just do it but I cannot believe how popular it's gotten <laughs> uh, Madarame's plagiarism farm hell yeah <laughs> all right that's oh yeah. That's quite a crowd for a book signing. Oh, there's so many people. I think I'm gonna throw up. Ah, uh, you'll be okay, Futaba. Futaba Baba. Is he gonna give out his keyword for Emma and change everyone's hearts like Alice did? We should keep an eye on him for now. Um, Natsume-san, I just wanted to say thank you for putting out such wonderful work all the time. I was so touched by your book. I ended up buying 50 copies. Yeah. yeah, well, I bought a hundred. Some to read, some to collect, some to give out, some to... Some to what? My goodness. Thank you. I'm flattered. Uh. Reading your book somehow gives me hope. Courage to keep going. I won't rest until each and every one of my friends knows about your book. Well, I have said that I want my book to reach as many people as possible. I can't help but feel guilty, though. Be sure you don't overdo it. No, it's okay. I'm helping you because I want to. I feel triggered here. I, 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 you know, I, <laughs> look, as an entertainer, I always feel humbled when people are willing to support me. I don't ask for it, but I welcome it. 
That's why I feel really triggered by this guy. I... Mm, I don't like him. I don't like him. I, I don't like him. I heard the reason he started writing novels was for this poor girl who's bedridden in the hospital. Wait, what? Supposedly, he wanted her to keep fighting so she could one day see him finish his novel. What? Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. He's just so compassionate. It's like he's a saint. What? I know. That story alone's enough to make me cry. I guess even real life is like a novel sometimes. Holy shit. It really is a complete opposite of what happened with Alice. Oh god. Oh god. Eric Hackney says, come on down to Come on down to Not Space Plagiarism Farm where we take all your creativity and plan in our stories for our own benefits! <laughs> <sighs> the book signing concluded and Natsume and his fans left. <sighs> I'd expected as much, but he's really popular. Do you think that bit about the girl in the hospital is for real? <sighs> I don't believe it for one second. Dude didn't seem like the type, if you ask me. I don't think Natsume said anything resembling a B-word. We weren't really listening to him except his, uh, gloating. Yeah, let's call it gloating. Could it be because he really isn't a monarch? Or perhaps he's just being careful. If he is the monarch, maybe everyone here's already had their hearts changed. I think that's probably what has exactly happened because, my God, people have bought 50, 100 copies. Jesus. Meaning he wouldn't need to give out his keyword. Hey, Inari, what's that you've been reading? No wonder they're celebrating the so-called 20th anniversary reissuing event or something, because everybody's buying his one book. Ango Natsume's novel, Prince of Nightmares. Inari, you actually bought that thing? Uh, can I read it when you're done? Yes, I suppose that's fine. I was just curious as to whether or not the book was truly deserving of the fervent praise it's received. Aha! Uh -huh. Yusuke actually doing the detective work I suggested from earlier. How is it? Is it good? How should I put it? Here, let me demonstrate it by using action rather than words. So, follow me to the restroom. <laughs> Just throws in the toilet and flushes. Eric Hackney, thank you so much, man. We only use the we only use the finest in equipment and editors. Oh, and bring on the children so they can be exploited at a very youthful, young, and simple age. <laughs> For any creative work, one should be able to feel some sense of its creator's passion. Remember, that's on nose plagiarism farm. Give us your shit and get plan your shit and get on and get. No matter how crude or find the work may be, there should always be some sort of spark present to those engaging with it. I'm not terribly well versed in the literary arts, but I feel nothing when reading this book. Damn. That is... In the artistic world, saying something is good or bad is bad, like... Is plenty enough, but saying nothing, like you feel nothing, that's... That is... Ouch! Kento! Thank you so much, man! You can plant in, you can plant a garden with all the BS. Yeah, really. The sentences are formed well enough, but what's here is shockingly hollow. It's as if these words have been taken from someone else and given the most bare minimum coat of paint possible. Let me see. Oh, wow! This line here is lifted from an anime from two years ago. The words got changed a bit, but that's definitely it. Sneaky. <laughs> I think I've seen this one before too. And this one. Sheesh. This one too. Yep! <laughs> On those plagiarism farm. Wait. Is this whole book just a bunch of stuff he ripped off and strung together? Eric Hackney, remember that not Remember that's not not space plagiarism farm. Play your shit and get on again. <laughs> uh I 
I would say that I want to compile a lot of my edits that I've done and just upload that, but some people have actually done that already. Can you believe it? Somebody's actually compiled some of my clips together. Like, holy shit. I never thought I'd see the day where somebody would think that I was funny enough to be like, you know what? I'm going to take the time to get this guy and gather a bunch of his clips that he's edited and put it in a, like, best, like, greatest hits thing. Like, I'm not even mad that uh, somebody's uploading things that I've done because I, I look at it more as, like, he made a greatest hits album for me. I thought that was so cool. Writers or worse, their fans ever saw this? There'd be a freaking riot online. I can't possibly fathom how such a fraudulent piece of work garnered this much praise. That is, unless the fans had their desires stolen. It's power to change heart. There's no mistake in it. With all that we know now, it's safe to say there's definitely something going on here. If only we knew the keyword, we can investigate the jail for ourselves. I think we should ask some of his fans. They've all had their desires taken, right? If this is anything like the situation in Shibuya, I doubt they'll tell us anything. JG Gerard, thank you so much, dude. Stop insulting fanfic writers, Ongo! Guess we're kind of stuck then. Have we heard anything from Gramps yet? He said he'd be here by tonight. Maybe he learned something. Hey, all right. All right then. I guess we should go ahead and wait for Inspector Hasegawa then. Eric Hackney, thank you so much, man. Again, uh, I'd like to watch your own compilation. I there once upon a time, I promised I'd put an entire video together of all of uh, the Yosuke fails as one big video. Um, I really still probably should do that, but again, I'll have more time because YouTube will be my job. I will be able to do it, and uh, that means I'll have more time to get to actually dedicate to that kind of thing. Hold on. Mm, yes? Why do you think Natsume wrote this novel? For money, for fame. I'm willing to bet it's fame. No. Somehow I don't believe that's the case. Really? You don't think it's to become famous? No matter how much praise your work receives, if it was built on the backs of others, and you cannot truly call that praise your own. I don't think he cares. That's the thing. He wants to just be famous for the sake of being famous. Those compliments will surely ring empty. Anyone in the arts should know this. But that's the thing, Yusuke. He's not really somebody of the arts. He stole other people's work, which means that he doesn't care about the arts. He only cares about himself. That is why I don't understand. What was he thinking when he wrote this novel? Exactly what it looks like, Yusuke. He was looking to become popular and loved by the masses. Maybe he also wants to be rich, but I don't think I'm really getting that from him. I don't think it's all about money. I really think he just wants it to be loved and famous. You know, hints of a catchy in there. What are you two doing? Let's get going. We're contemplating the arm world, Makoto! Shut up and start the car! My apologies. It wasn't my intention to hold you up. Let's be off. Oh, uh, there's another layer too. I'm pretty sure, nice yeah. You've got here. Yeah, I I'm sure that there is. I'm sure that there is. Uh, but just from what I'm getting here, it definitely seems like he just wants to like. There's all the, uh, he just wants to become famous. I'm sure there's a reason why, like a true reason why. I mean, Alice had a real reason why. She didn't want to just be loved by everybody. She was bullied, and she wanted to get back at the bullies, and she became the bully herself. So I'm sure there's definitely more here. Anyway, thank you, Sengichi. This is the Coffee Mobile. And I gotta say, I didn't expect Sendai to be on the agenda. How'd you know there was a jail here? Well, about that. I smelled it. Hmm. 
<laughs> you smelled it? Yep. Smells like shit. Anyway, <laughs> have you learned anything new? <laughs> smells like bullshit. Ah, yes. Ango Natsume, right? Yeah. He's suspicious, all right. His book's been selling like crazy, but only here in Sendai. Most of the other stuff I've heard lines up with what you guys told me. Anyhow, I did some asking around, and here's what I found. Probably gonna wrap it up here very, very soon after this scene, because one, my voice is starting to hurt, and two, I think this episode's gone on for a good long time, and uh, I want to uh, kind of split up the next part into its own part. So, anyway, uh, let's get on through this. Apparently... Everyone in Atsume's little fan club becomes friends with him through Emma. Aha! Uh -huh. And once that happens, they start buying his book any and every chance they get. Some even go into debt because of it. Any of this sound familiar? Yep! It's just like what happened with Alice. 110% just like Alice. He might have different methods from Alice Hiragi, but I'm almost certain Atsume's using the same power. <laughs> the patient one! Hey! Hey! I'm trying to relax here! I'm trying to read the story! I'm trying to do things! But no! No! You're like, hey! You know what'd be a cool idea? You want to come out and give Kakano all the fucking love in the world! Well, you know what? Ah! My throat! My throat can't take no more! My throat can't take no more! What did he say? What did he say? He said, we interrupt this regularly scheduled ending of the stream to bring you another episode of Kagano Flips Out. Gee, I wonder why that happened. Thanks to tonight's largest donation, as much as I'd like to keep you streaming for another hour or two, I'm sure that your voice really needs a rest now. Well, it definitely does now after you did that. Ah! <laughs> ah! <coughs> uh. <sighs> My throat hurts right now. My, my throat hurts. Okay, hold on. I need to drink my monster. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. <clears throat> Let's move on with the story now, shall we? In that case, we really need to get our hands on his keyword. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you very much. Can't we just nab the shithead and make him cough it up? Ugh, do that, and I would have to arrest you for assault. You can ramble on about the jails all you want. Best case scenario is you getting dragged off to a mental institution. <laughs> I would I would pay good money to see that happen to Ryuji. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. Well, we're phantom thieves, so going at it directly is not preferred anyway. I don't know about you, Haru, but I still want to punch him in the face. Ah, uh, there goes Beauty Thief. Always trying to be elegant and subtle and stuff. Elegant and subtle. Futaba. Honey, do you not recall the fact that she wields a goddamn axe and a grenade launcher? There's nothing subtle or elegant about anything that she does as a phantom thief. Outside? Sure. But when she's a phantom thief, no. Bodies are left in her wake. She is a walking arsenal. And need I remind you, how much strength it takes to wield an axe for that long. I'm telling you, she's got abs of steel and she's hiding it with pink fluffy dresses. Beauty what? <laughs> she's talking to Haru. My name is Beauty Thief. <laughs> she's so cute. 
see. She's really calling herself? Yes, yes, she is. The sooner you accept that, Zenkichi, the sooner you can get on this team. Getting back on track. We gotta think of a way to get that keyword. That's where I come in. You better thank me for this later. For what? Natsume's holding a party tonight in celebration of Prince of Nightmares, passing over a million in sales. And I just happen to have enough invitations for all of you. Oh my god! Way to go, Sinkichi! Which means... You're crashing a party? Hey, that sounds fun as hell! Don't you think? Yep, definitely sounds like Phantom Thief business. This is our chance. I don't... I don't have anything to wear! Nobody's gonna care what you're wearing. Just pretend you work in the industry or something. <laughs> so, what do you think? Glad we struck a deal? Yeah! Seriously, you are... very helpful! You did pretty good, Gramps. Like, extremely helpful! Yeah, nice one, Gramps! I must admit, I'm seeing you in a whole new light. <laughs> Even Yusuke's wrote, look at Yusuke's smug face! No, not the art! I'm talking about the character model! Look at Yusuke's smug ass face! I love it! I fucking love it! <laughs> yeah, you really came through, Gramps. I knew we could count on you, Gramps-san. Gramps-san. <laughs> Eric Hatney and, and you love Haru's muscular body, boss. Admit it. I didn't think I had to admit it. Of course I do. Double thumbs up. 100% love. Come on, guys. At least call me by my name. <laughs> Sorry, Zenkichi. Even I tried to just call you, like, cop dad or investigator dad. But... I'm sorry, you're Gramps. You're investigator Gramps. Don't feel bad, Gramps. Even so bad, <laughs> Party venue, Prince of Nightmares, one million sold celebration. Thank you all very much for coming today. I, okay, apparently we're doing this. I was thinking, okay, I better stop now and save the game, but nope, we're jumping straight on in. This is just a small token of my appreciation. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Congratulations, Mr. Natsume, truly. It's all thanks to everyone working so hard to push sales. All I did was right. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, you're too modest. It really is impressive how well you're doing, considering the amount of competition there is these days. But I know we tried to promote you early on as the grandson of renowned writer Sogo Natsume, but uh, I never would have expected you to perform this well. <laughs> The praise you've received is due entirely to your talent, Mr. Natsume. You're a shining star to readers and authors alike. My talent, you say? <laughs> well now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. The words on the page matter little. If there's something worth talking about, the people will always flock to it. Uh -huh. From there, all one needs to do is craft a little story into it. And voila! For example, take that origin story about how I started writing because of some poor girl in the hospital. Uh huh. Pardon my asking, but is that story really true, Mr. Natsume? <laughs> I'm afraid that's my little secret. Uh huh. Truth, fiction. Does anyone really care? You might recall Ichiryu Saimadorame's confession on TV not too long ago. Surely you remember. Yes, I do! And it was quite a fun moment! Fucking murdering bastard! His signature piece. What was the name of it? Oh, do you mean the Sayuri? Yeah? Ah, yes. That's it. The Sayuri. That piece was certainly lauded as the pinnacle of beauty at the time. But if you ask me, the only place it belongs now is the trash. Oh boy! Oh no! Hold on! 
You know what? I, no, I'm not doing a damn thing. Yusuke, here's a gun. Dick. Oh, God. The trash. How rude. My God. That was his fucking mother. He has no idea what was put into that painting. Who does he think he is? Oof. You know what? I don't blame him for saying something like that. After all, he don't know no shit about art! He's stupid! He's stupid! He's stupid! 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 Ah! Kill him! Just kill him! Kill him! Just back his head with the butt! With the bat! With the bat! With the bat! Over and over! Over and over again! With the bat! With the bat! Yusuke, I know how you feel, but... You know what? First sodomize him with the bat, then hit him with the bat! I'm alright. I have a favor to ask. Would you mind if I handled this one? <laughs> well then, yes! I am very happy in this. Yusuke, have at it. I promise I'll get the keyword for later. Have at it, Yusuke. But... There's a good chance he remembers your faces from the other day. Eric Hackney says, Yusuke, we hereby grant you permission to kill. Yep! Go forth, Yusuke. Do your thing. However, I was toward the back of the crowd, so there's a good chance he won't recognize me. Oh, okay. Do us the honor, would you, Yusuke? Right. Yusuke might be our best bet here. Good luck. Thank you. I'll be off then. Pardon me for interrupting. I happen to be a big fan of yours, Natsume-san. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, who are you? <laughs> Forgive me. I was hoping I might trouble you for an autograph. Hey, Mr. Natsume is a busy man. You can trouble him later. Hmm. Yusuke is going about this the right way. I like this. <laughs> Come now. I'm sure one autograph won't hurt. <laughs> you mean it. My thanks, Natsume-san. You're too kind. Really? The smug ass look on Yusuke's face. I love it. I fucking love it. To receive an autograph from the great Ongo Natsume himself. This honor is truly more than I deserve. Nonsense. Don't sell yourself short. It's readers like you who allow authors like me to keep writing. I see. That's a wonderful way to look at it. Uh, Echo Garota says, uh, technically Ango isn't talking about the real Sayuri that's in LeBlanc, but he's talking about the fake one that Monorame altered. I suppose that's true, but you know what? It's still Sayuri. Oh, right. Do you by any chance use Emma? <laughs> of course. With how convenient it is, how could I not? If you don't mind, could you please add me to your friends list? It would be a privilege to be closer to one I respect so greatly. <laughs> Not at all. My fans and readers mean the world to me. Mm. The keyword is Prince of Nightmares. Thank you very much. Expect a request from me sometime soon. Now, there is one more thing. I overheard you and your entourage mention the Sayuri earlier. There it is! If I'm not mistaken, you said it should be thrown out with the trash. As though it were some cheap attempt. Ah, so you heard that, did you? Is that what I said? Well, I take it someone of your taste agrees with me? In the end, that painting only held value because of whose name was attached to it. Madarame had it. The Sayori was painted by my mother. <laughs> <laughs> this may be unprofessional of me, but professionalism be damned. My mother painted the Sayori at the cost of her own life. It is her final masterpiece. That painting was crafted with a love that simply cannot be found anywhere else. Mm, yeah! Don't you dare lump it in with that soulless drivel you cobbled together from authors far more talented than you. Damn! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Bombs have been dropped! Bombs! Bombs everywhere! Everything's ablaze! Everything's on fire! My voice has come back for this moment! All hail Yusuke! For he has been fed! 
You just did not space editor that has no name or portrait! I merely spoke the truth. Now, if you'll excuse me. It just flat out name. turns his back on him and yes. walks away! Ah! I think I got hard from that. <laughs> Boopy 93382. Hey, Natsume, Natsume! Uh, what? Meet my friend! And who would. Woo! Yusuke has been fed! <laughs> Don't let him get to you. Shut up! Uh. <laughs> no matter. He'll come around just like the rest. <laughs> yes! Oh, God, my nipples are hard right now. My apologies. I couldn't hold myself back. I suppose I still have much to learn. Uh, Yusuke, no, you have nothing else to learn. You have graduated, sir. You have fucking graduated. Dude, don't sweat it. Everything worked out. We got the keyword, so we're all good. Yeah, you did great. I was actually pretty impressed with how you stood up to him. Well, I can't say my assessment of his book was entirely correct. Whatever someone feels from a work of art, no matter what that work may be, ultimately comes down to the individual. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, we all love seeing you stick it to that creepy knob. Me especially. Can I just say me especially? Because me especially. In any case, we've got the keyword now. All that's left is to find our entry point. Sendai Station would be a good place to look. Hmm? How come? The smell isn't as strong there. The security's probably more lax. The station should be a safe point of entry. Just like in Shibuya. Nice. So I guess we're doing it then. We're doing it to it. it. We've got everything we need. Tomorrow, that jail's getting a visit from the Phantom Thieves. Oh yeah. Blip. Hey, there's something I wanted to ask you. Oh. <laughs> my, my, my daughter wants to talk to me. You go, you go, you go, you go, you go. Katie C. Falco Punch! Feel the burn nuts, man! It must freaking hurt! <laughs> Yusuke might have been acting calm just now, but he seemed rather sad. Why was that? Mm -hmm. I think he was shocked. He probably felt insulted because he's an artist too. Oh, I see. So when someone disrespects something important to you, it makes you more sad than angry. It kind of makes you both. It depends on the person. At the very least, Yusuke seemed to feel that way. I think I'm starting to understand him a little better now. Thank you for explaining that to me. You're welcome. Head pat, head pat, head pat. I went back to the RV and got some rest. Oh, God. Okay, well, I'm going to the Velvet Room. Hi, Levenza. I've been waiting for you. Yes, hi. The desires in this place have been stolen as well. The voices of countless hearts are stirring about. At the same time, I can feel the threat of the calamity is only growing stronger. Levenza, I like you and all, but I gotta say, I kind of miss the Dominatrix twins because they had a bit more personality. You're kind of boring me right now. I have called you here to deliver important news. The bonds you have forged will now impart an even greater power to your personas. This new power, it seems it was born from a connection you've made during your travels. 
This will become the sustenance that will further nurture your potential. Cherish it dearly. I'll do just that. Thank you. Good night. I admit I'm somewhat jealous. Huh. There is no doubt that they will give you the strength needed to cut through fate. Martial arts increases damage for physical. Okay, thank you. Magical persona skills. Okay. Status ailments. Supportive arts. One of each. New set of bond skills have been unlocked. These allow you to strengthen. Yes, 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 yes. May yes, luck yes. be on your side. Strengthen magic. Strengthen physical. Strengthen debilitating things. Uh, strengthen enhancing things. Oh my god! I'm so tired. Guys, I actually do really want to just wrap this up for the night. But man, oh man, the cutscenes. Oh man, there's a lot of cutscenes. I just, I just want to save. Just want to save, but we're continuing because the game wants us to continue. Snap out of it, Ryuji. We're about to head in. I know, I know. I was so excited last night, I couldn't sleep. What? You think it's Christmas morning or something? <laughs> Any idea how big this place is? Can you tell, Sophia? Based on the smell, I'd say it covers nearly all of Sendai. That's quite big. Oh my. Considering what's happening throughout the city, the scale makes sense. But that's all coming to an end. Time to get to work. Next time. Right. We're heading into the Sendai jail. <gasps> oh god, here we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, well, whatever. Whatever you said. Oh! Oh! We did it! We did it! Oh man! Oh man! Two hours! Wait, 10, 11, 12, 1, three hours! Three hours! Oof. Oh man, the game actually held me hostage for a little while! Oh man! Okay, oof. So yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here, guys. I am. Oh, I, my throat hurts. <laughs> My throat hurts so damn much. Oh, oh man, that was a that was a long run, but you know what? It's fine because it was all story, and it was a good time. It was a good time. Anyway, let's wrap it up here. Thank you all for joining me. Oh my god, thank you for all your support too. This was a crazy, crazy night. Thank you all very much. I love you all, and I'll see you all next time. Look forward to more of this. And um, Resident Evil 8 is out. I'm working on it. I, I think you guys are going to like what I have planned for Resident Evil 8. It's not going to be streamed. It's all recorded. And I've got some jokes going on with that. Some serious stuff. Anyway, this is Kagato. I am the final boss. Thank you all for joining me. I'll see you all next time. Good night, everybody!
want to be, the one to go.